What's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome. Holy cow, Hyper, you are freaking 40 months. My God, dude. Heck yeah, man. Thank you for like the three and a half years of support, man. That is freaking awesome. Welcome to it. Zenith Hellhammer, Aquila, Jasper Beardley, and Hyper. Good to have you guys. Hope everybody's doing all right tonight on this fine Tuesday afternoon here in sunny North Carolina. We're going to be doing some No Man's Sky live streaming. And as you can tell, you can hear the game sounds in the back. Um, I had a little faux, faux pas with uh, Epidemic Sound. Apparently, the subscription I had been paying for had uh, ended in September, so... All the music that I had on Sunday stream, I got pinged for copyright claims. So, yeah, I gotta get. I tried to get it worked out with them today, and uh, it, their site's all screwy, messed up. Wouldn't take my PayPal account. So, until I get that sorted out, we're not gonna be doing any music and try and find another source of copyright free music. That's what we're going with. Has everybody? Is is the music okay? Or is it too loud? Let's say me a. Uh, me mute out and listen to it, see if it's too loud on my phone. Doesn't seem too bad. All right, guys. Well, let me go ahead and get started. Hopefully, a few more will pour in here and, uh, we're going to be playing some permadeath again tonight. Uh, be working on a few odds and ends. I got a lot of stuff. I need to I need to get my freighters or my frigates uh, sorted out. So I may go uh, on the old uh, Reddit tonight and see if I can find that uh, white frigate location and uh, go try to do all white frigates for my permadeath uh, character. Uh, did get the farm finished out uh, from Sunday stream. I did it yesterday. What's up, Beeble Bum and Pete? How's it going, guys? Welcome, welcome, guys. Um, but yeah, I got the uh, freighter farm, I believe, is finished. I had to go double check on it, but I did get the main base farm sorted out uh, yesterday, and I started on a settlement. So I'll be uh, working back and forth to the settlement as the timers tick down tonight, and uh, hopefully get a few uh, few upgrades, a few buildings completed, uh, maybe. I know them things get uh, get up there about two hours after you get going on them. So, how's everybody doing tonight? Good to have you. Freaking A07 Hyper in the chat for being such an awesome channel member. Holy cow. Man, that's a long freaking time, dude. But, yeah, guys. Hope everybody's having a great week. Hope your uh, Monday wasn't too uh, too terrible. It was, a, it was a coming back from vacation Monday for me. So, I I got home. Wasn't feeling too bad. Had a, actually a pretty good day. And, uh... I said, thought about going live, and I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, not on Monday. Let's just watch uh, Beebs, Jason, and uh, Golden Geck uh, play some Valheim. <laughs> All right, guys, let's uh, let's get on with it. There we go. Let's see if that switch to all messages. Cool, cool. Chris G, how's it going, buddy? What programs do you use to live stream? I just use uh, Streamlabs or uh, Streamlabs OBS, so or OBS Streamlabs. But yeah, it to, to me, once you get the hang of the format, it's actually easy to use. I know a lot of the guys use uh, Stream Elements now, um, because Streamlabs had some issues uh, a couple years ago with a. Uh, with the, it functioning correctly. All right. But yeah, quick run through. Let's go see if our uh, if our farm is grown in and ooh, looking good, looking good. Yes, indeed. Yeah, uh, played around, went by and checked out the awesome Serious Lee's gaming, uh, his uh, system with a whole bunch of permadeath farms and collected quite a few uh, resources to finish the farms out. Then we'll go by and take a look at the uh, farm we built Sunday or finished up Sunday. Hmm. Why is that? Oh, okay. I bet you that's the sediment because I put a base computer down. I don't know why it kept the uh, screenshot for it though. Hmm. Cool. 
Let's go. But yeah, Chris, I, I've been using a stream lab, OBS Streamlabs for oh, probably since I'm switched from a PlayStation to PC. I tried doing a, I tried using the uh, Elgato with my PS4, and I had so much trouble getting everything like tied together, like the sound and and whatnot. It it uh it ended up being a little uh little off putting, so uh. I just started going direct to uh, or direct with uh, Streamlabs from the PC. Silent, what's up, buddy? Slap that like button like a bass. Nice, buddy. Heck yeah, thank you, sir. Heck yeah, guys. Appreciate all you guys being here tonight. Uh, like I said, hopefully I don't die because I'm still a uh, kind of noobish at permadeath. Which, to be fair, I got enough uh, technology upgrades on this guy. He can take a pretty good smack around without dying, so. But we need to test the farm anyway, make sure all my, uh, make sure all my uh, plants are producing the right amount of circuit boards and living glass. Oh, God, I ain't. Make sure I got enough space in my backpack for all this stuff. Permadeath. Permadeath inventory slots are no joke, boys. Cool, cool. How's everybody doing tonight? What's everybody been up to today? To go do that adult thing called work this morning and uh actually get all fairly decent today and I said, yeah, that's a good day, good day to do a live stream. Hopefully. <laughs> it's been so long. I thought it I thought it had only been like uh, nine months since my last stream. Good God, I got to looking in YouTube uh, yesterday or yeah, yesterday. I was going back and looking at my analytics and stuff for the last uh, stream or Sunday stream and holy smokes guys. It was a uh, it had been eleven months. Finished work an hour ago, just chill at night. Now nice dude, heck yeah. Nothing like getting home and chilling out from work. 26. And do we got 26 of these? Let's see. Finally finished editing. Now I'm just messing around trying to get a better building ship and space engineers. Nice dude. To get better and better and building ships. Oh, cool, cool, man. Heck yeah, dude. I'm telling you, man, space engineer is a fun game, but Dude, it is definitely uh definitely technical. Cool, there's 26 uh circuit boards. Let's go do 26 living glass. Atlas Galacticus, how's it going, dude? How is your Tuesday going, buddy? Alright, go back this way. Going the wrong way. I gotta put little yellow arrows on the on the ground to kind of find my way around this base. I build it and I still get lost in it. That is terrible. Cool, cool, cool. I still prefer Imperion. It's much better content to do with your giant battleships of death. Yeah, yeah. I'm I know, man. We need to get into some Imperion. Between that and Star Citizen, it is, uh... I mean, there's a lot of games we all play. What is up, old explorer? How's it going, dude? Happy Tuesday to you, sir. I hope you're doing well. So it's a challenge to build proper-looking ships. Everything looks like bricks. <laughs> it's going to take some time before I'm up to the name of sky building skills. Dude, I'm telling you, man. I've, I've watched Tragos build ships in... Like, basically, he'll go into creative and build, um, and build, like, uh, like, craft his own ships or build his own ship. And then he'll port it over to, nor or to, uh, survival and use the, uh, build, uh, build and repair system to craft it. And, dude, just watching him build a freaking ship in Space Engineers, I mean, I'm talking several, 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 several hours. Like, he built one, dude. Um, he built this one ship. It crashed the server. 
or crashed his game when he ported it into survival. What is up? Seriously, he's gaming. How's it going, dude? Seriously, dude, I want to thank you again for that, uh, for the coordinates to that, uh, solar system that you uh, had them farms in, dude. They come in clutch, man. I hit them again last night. What is up? Check NMS. How's it going, dude? Welcome to it. Doing good. Thanks for asking. Nice, buddy. Nice, nice. Um, okay, thanks. Happy Tuesday to you as well. Heck yeah, man. Uh, Evertron Legacy SC is a complex space game. Six degrees of freedom. Flight mechanics is fun. Nice, dude. What is up, Janet? Welcome to it. Good to see you. Good, good, guys. Welcome, welcome, guys. Glad to have y'all. My, my, my. There we go. Now, let's go over here and build my... See if I get 26 of the uh, lubricant. Giggity. Yep, 26 of those. Okay, so 26 times 5, that would be 105 glass. That's what I'm going to need for this. Dude, ever since Hyper told me about building a, using a macro, I, crafting in No Man's Sky got so much, so much easier. <laughs> got to get my Southern Draw fix. Heck yeah. Very nice. Well, you're welcome anytime you need to hear that Southern Draw. Come on by and hang out. Pull you up a bean bag and make yourself comfortable. All right, so there's 26 of those. Let's see. Do I got any iridescent? I got one. I do got a 20 aronium. That'd be simple, simple. I need to go make some... Uh, I need to go aboard the, the... Let's see. I need to go aboard the freighter. I got a lot of resources up there, but I don't have the right resources. So, let's see. That's going to be... Do, do I have enough gas? Because I pulled, I pulled some gas from Sirius Lee's uh, place uh, yesterday. So that'd be four per stack, and I'm gonna need five stacks plus. Okay, so six. Two hundred fifty out of the six stack will be enough for my. No, 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 no. I need more than that. I have to craft twice as many. So that'll be 12 stacks. Fortunately, I got 12 stacks from his base. So cool. Captain Steve, what is up? Captain of the Steves. Day Avanti, welcome to it. It's nice. Hello, Sword07 chap. Do you still play Star Citizen? Hoping to build a PC that's able to play it. Squadron 42 looks ace. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Check out some check out the trailers if you haven't. Man, they, like, the Star Engine trailer will blow your mind, and the Squadron 42 trailer will blow your mind. I am looking forward to it. I'm hoping, uh, I'm thinking CIG should be, uh, should be pretty close to having that thing released by October, November, when the uh, Citizen Con hits Manchester, or is in Manchester. Uh, one of my buddies on the Discord, uh, bought some event tickets for the, uh, Manchester event or the Manchester Citizen Con and one and it had like a purchasing like the higher end tickets had meeting some of the actors for Squadron 42. They didn't name nobody, but I'm assuming since they're gonna have their actors or the voice actors and characters for Squadron 42 at Citizen Con that it probably because it was feature complete at the last one. So they're just polishing for the, they're gonna have a year of polishing. So I'm assuming that it's coming out in um uh, in November somehow Sony has filled a patent for a new PlayStation handheld device and actually cloud gaming on it and no I'm not referring to the PlayStation Portal remote player ooh uh, you lost me I I haven't messed with uh PlayStation stuff in so long but heck yeah man welcome to it guys all right so I do have enough gases giggity um and let's go to the uh Let's go to the freighter and go make some stasis devices real quick. So I'm going to need to craft some uh, con condensed carbon and ionized cobalt. Definitely. I do think I have enough paraffinium, doxite, and phosphorus. Let me double check my stash here. Uh, hmm, I may not have enough. Let's see. That is going to be magna gold, I believe. Takes phosphorus. We'll see how much it takes. Uh, 50. Okay, so I should have plenty. 
Okay, so should, ha should have plenty. I need to grab some oxygen, oxygen cobalt, and a uh, carbon. What is up, Russ Beard? Dang it, Sword Three, my favorite streamers on, and I'm running out of screen space. Oh no! What's up, Typo? Welcome to it, buddy. Can't see my email or any of my work stuff. Well, you know what that means, Russ Beard. It means it's time to call it a day, man. Just tell, go tell your boss I said it was okay for you to go home. Let's see what he says. Tell, tell him Sword is a uh, is uh, on high authority that uh, that you can go home now. Tapo got me good. <laughs> nice. All right, cool. So I think I need. Let's grab oxygen out of this one. I don't know how many? Well, see, the bad thing is permanent. I don't know how many, how many uh, refiners I can get going at one time. Uh, my internet. Yeah, <laughs> right, dude. <laughs> so, oopsie, my internet went out. Gotta go home. All right, so let's get oxygen. That's gonna take 37 seconds, okay. So by the time I get the other, fit one filled with the ionized cobalt, it'll be over with. Let's see what, uh, let me find my ionized cobalt. I didn't have a full stack, did I, did I? May have, okay. All right, let's see, in O2, let's go, boom. 37 seconds, okay, not too, too bad. So I could probably just stand here between the two. Actually, no, that's going pretty slow. Hmm. Can I reach? I can reach. Oh, cool. I can reach these. Nice. All right. So let's get a second one going. And I'll just stand here in the middle of the floor and uh, and do run four of them at a time. Hopefully. Because 37 seconds, that's not too, too horrible uh, rotating around four of them. Still going to be tedious, man. I miss, I miss my normal mode slots, dude. I really do. I'm 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 sad for a sad for the normal mode slots. Let's see, and there we go. Nice. All right, pull that out, start it up. Pull that out, start it up. It didn't even give me a couple seconds to rechat. Cool. Yacht, what's up, my friend? How you doing? Happy Wednesday morning to you, sir. It's Tuesday afternoon here. Uh, means you need more screens, Rust Beard. Yeah, that's right, Typo. You gotta go, Morse Man. <laughs> oh, okay. He's, he minimized the stream. I, I'm gonna talk really, really loud, hoping that his uh, earphones pick up. What? You want a call? He's gonna. Yeah, I'm on. A, I'm an important call. Business call, boss. <laughs> I started a protest save. Oh, cool. That was done. Oh no, it didn't. Uh, when I hovered over it, it shut it down. Cool. Yeah, just rolled out of bed. Yeah, man. It's about pancake time. You, you tell you tell uh, Mrs. Junt to go hobble into the kitchen and uh, and make you uh, make you some pancakes, man. Have a great stream, buddy. Off to bed here. Not all. Captain Steve, have a great night, buddy. Rest well. Great to have you, and thank you for stopping by, bud. Cool, cool, cool. Heck yeah. Start permadeath save with all the options set to easy as possible without it change off permadeath the way suit slot way better suit slot usage. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, the one thing that really throws throws me for a loop with the uh, permadeath, well with the, even the normal mode, right? Even normal mode, uh they quit selling oxygen. That that really uh that really uh messed me up with it not selling oxygen. Cause that was for the years and years my play style heck yeah man 07 captain steve guys and to be fair man i think everybody in the chat knows who captain steve is but if you don't go check out his channel man he's an awesome no man's sky content creator does some awesome video work and all around good egg uh i wish she's still at her mom's i'll bring her home this weekend then it's straight into the kitchen for her i hear you buddy Man, no more late nights hanging out with lava lamp, finding cool multi tools. That's going to end. You might as well, you might as well hang out with lava lamps tonight or this afternoon or something, and just uh, get in, get in all your buddy time. Tell him you're going to miss him for about six months. <laughs> yeah, auction farms now huge benefit for new safes. Dude, tell me about it, man. That was like that's the reason. Honestly, that's where I built this base uh, up 
was because uh, I was in need of oxygen, and I wanted to set up on a lush planet where I can uh, where I could uh, get massive amounts of oxygen for the uh, saves. But yeah, like I said, the the refining of the uh, the refiners are difficult because you got 250 instead of 4,000. That that really is a why didn't that start? What the heck? Come on, game. Let's go ahead and top that off while I'm at it. Cool. Yeah, that really uh that really throws me off some. All right, now that was supposed to be ferrite dust. Let's move that back up to ferrite. Very nice. Auction hot pots, pretty easy to find. Out. Yeah, they're they're super easy. It's just the uh, just getting back into or getting to uh, building it because it does. Uh, I mean, to be fair though, yeah, it depends on how much oxygen you're going to be pulling. You know, because I'm used to like normal mode slots and normal mode uh, storage capacities. So like with my O2 stuff. I usually like on normal mode try to do forty to fifty thousand if I'm gonna build a build a uh, extractor farm. But yeah, doing going going that big on permadeath is a uh, is pretty tough, especially with the constraints on inventory. I can almost I can almost get six refiners going at a time, and it will keep me busy the whole time. But at least it gives me a second to look at chat. You change settings so it says auction. You can, uh, Jasper, but it gives you the uh, it gives you the naughty the naughty marker on your save file. <laughs> it gives you the. Uh, uh. <laughs> oh yeah, which I you know normal mode I don't mind it too much. Uh, let's see, I was, uh, we're pretty fun. I was talking about the new PlayStation handheld device. That got to patent two weeks ago. It is rumored to have new features such as switching from handheld device to the console, then back and improvements. Oh, that sounds cool, Atlas. That does sound real cool. Would be would be very 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 nice. Let's see, let's do. Let's get this carbon down here and get it started stacking. I don't. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need for this. Because I don't think it takes that much. See what I mean about the overage of my living glass? Or my glass? Or uh, frost wart with those farms? Leslie White, how's it come? How's it going? I've come up with a sub game just for myself. I'm not allowed to leave the starter system in anything, but the ship I have built myself so far is proving difficult. Yeah, that does sound difficult. Oh, so people see the marker and say cheat. Yeah, I know, right, Jasper? I'm stubborn, man. I'm stubborn. Which, I mean, to be honest with you, I know I'm going to gripe and moan about permadeath uh, inventory slots, but it is permadeath. I mean, you know, it, it, you're, you're doing like the difficult setting, so you kind of a. Uh, you're kind of asking to pound your head against the wall sometimes with these uh with these saves. So, yeah. Let's see here. Let's go. Yeah, if you're gonna play perma, then you should play perma. Not me. Yeah, I agree. Well, I mean, like I said, <sighs> yes. I mean, it's still permadeath, so it's. Well, I don't know how to. I don't know what would. Hmm. You brought up a very philosophical uh, quamp, uh, preponderance there, uh, or a question there, Junt, um, because, yeah, if you're playing permadeath, it should be permadeath, but it's still permadeath. So, you know, it's still, it's still dangerous, and you can still zero out a save. And, man, hmm, that is, a, that is an interesting uh, predicament there, bud. Because I don't know if... I mean, don't get me wrong. You got, like, your permadeath purist that, like... That, like, uh... You know, definitely. I'm not... I'm I'm by no means a permadeath purist. Which I'm not a purist on, on normal mode either. You know what I'm saying? Because st I'll still reload uh, reload saves for, uh... For, uh... 
safes come and I'll still roll my tech for stuff like that. But like I said, you know, permadeath still, it's still permadeath. You, know, you still got to sleep with one eye open. So yeah, it's, it's still got that, uh, the air of, a uh, of, a uh, danger. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I, like I said, I ain't, I ain't real sure. I'll have to, I'll have to think about that one. Then again, I play on free everything, so I can't. <laughs> the ultimate cheater. <laughs> well, hey, buddy, at least you don't fly a shuttle around. See, if you flew a shuttle around, there'd be no excuse, sir. I would judge you, I would judge you uh, harshly and, and thoroughly, bud. Uh, for me, it'd be a challenge to do permadeath challenges in normal mode. Uh, for me, I'd it it'd be a challenge to do permadeath challenges in normal mode. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, honestly, permadeath. I, I know a lot of guys. I know a lot of guys that hang out that, that that come by the streams that like are that wouldn't want to try. That don't want to try permadeath. Me personally, I, I probably wouldn't have done it uh, if Alexi Check wouldn't have wouldn't have told me to try or talked me into trying it back when i was uh hanging out with the guys over at the um uh amino hub shuttle only permanent Ooh, brutal i started a new save for orbital max settings perma doing no starter ship run took me a while to get off the starting planet i bet dude jeez occasionally i've flown the shuttle and still won the race with lava he <laughs> i know i i seen you flying that shuttle and, and like for half that uh multi-tool hunt on that one uh, i sent you and i'm like he's doing that just just uh just to razz me a little bit <laughs> either that or you was giving a you was giving a lava lamps a fighting chance to beat you or catch up to you <laughs> actually honey for starship parts kind of easy to do especially when we can find the one we want to make since so you're making a hot rod alpha vector oh i've tried perma just doesn't work for me i hear you typo i mean yeah i mean don't get me wrong the thing with permadeath is it's really only difficult other than just other than that like i would call it more of an inconvenience than a hindrance with the uh with the uh inventory slots because it's not really a hindrance. You just have to, one, you have to have more, you know, just, you got to plan accordingly when you're, when you're, uh, with, for what you're going to carry. And, uh, ooh, that's wrong. Let's do, uh, you got to plan accordingly to, uh, for what you're going to carry and kind of, like, really be particular about your inventory management. So, like I said, permanent's not horribly bad after like the first 15 maybe or so hours of gameplay after after about 15 hours and like some tech upgrades it's really not that bad i mean don't get me wrong i still have some pucker up moments in permadeath when i play i mean it, it, it's it's there's still that air of danger with it but after about 15 20 hours of gameplay it's you're pretty much your characters, you know, unless you just start doing something really silly or you're very clumsy, there's there's not a whole lot of a not a lot of danger. Uh took me Sloan to get off the planet because of the first crash ship film was a shuttle. I claimed to scrap it later. Claimed it to scrap it later, but refused to refuse to fly it. <laughs> I hear you, bud. Bit of both. One permanent save is enough for me and survival. I barely use them now. Basically, buy quicksilver stuff with them because I got heaps still. Cool, man. Now I, I like my normal mode saves, and to be fair, I like I like building big in normal mode. Just I was I was uh, talking to the guys in Discord when I was working on these farms and stuff, and I'm like, you know, like the harvest and the uh, and the golden golden royal mint were were awesome farms that I probably won't use but like once. I wonder if the teleporter's gonna uh... sometimes when you it, the teleporter, I don't know about the uh the the portable or what do you call it teleporter, the uh localized Ooh, what do we got here? Thirty three million? Hmm. 
Let's see what your slots look like, buddy. Let's see if you got some supercharged slots. Hmm. I've seen him a couple times land in my land in my freighter, but that's a that's a little high just to scrap for um I mean not really high, but that's that's on the upper end of uh of making it well, it's still worth it. You'll get like two um two augmentations from it. It does have some nice colors. Uh you'll get a couple augmentations from it, but there's there's way cheaper ships to 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 scrap for augmentations that you can get for like 20 million or less. So yeah, I I would snatch it up just to scrap it. But. Uh, the shuttle hatred is painful for me. I remember my first playthrough, and I was so proud to get my new ship, a shuttle. My very first uh, store, or the very first ship I bought in No Man's Sky was a shuttle, uh, Leslie. Um, and to be fair, back in the day, back in the day, shuttles wasn't horrible. It was only until they made them like really, really ugly with those uh, enlarged cockpits and tiny little bodies that they became uh, abominations that need to be burnt with fire. So. Which, and to be fair guys, I I know a lot of you guys uh, really prefer shuttles and it's more of a, it's more of an inside joke or a, uh, or just a, a, a goof off with y'all guys. So don't, don't, I hope nobody ever takes my shuttle shaming personally. Except for Cobra, he deserves it. I should have shamed Cobra so bad he he had to go play another game. <laughs> yeah, it's mostly memes. <laughs> Man, I went to go get some more oxygen for it's over with. It's getting there. Alright, so let's go top off my oxygen real quick. Let's top off my condensed carbon. I think I'm getting pretty good, pretty good shape on condensed carbon and uh, let's see. Uh, oh, I seen somebody say something about a squid ship. I'm gonna have to definitely say something about squids. Get out the way, Gek. Some of Heller games haven't fixed the bug where we can see each other's custom ship colors. I I don't think they have. I know that was a big sticking point uh, in a in some videos I've seen this week, so. Let's see. Some O2. And some more items. Boom, and let it rip. Let's see. Don't worry, Leslie. Shuttle hates mostly a meme joke. Shell squids and scrapping all with S. Can't be a coincidence. Yeah, <laughs> I like it, Jasper. Oh, uh, they removed them to put solar ships in the systems. That's saying something. Yes! <laughs> Back to 2017, the shows were a valid first ship. I don't know, it's a meme joke. <laughs> now, now, no squid bashing, that's heresy. Dude, I, I disagree with squids because they are made, they're backwards. If they flew the other way and had the tentacles pointing to the rear, then I would I would consider squid squid exotics to be at, uh, viable ships, but they're made backwards. It doesn't work. It's not natural. They should all be scrapped or burnt with fire. Period. Was exactly seriously. He knows what I'm talking about. No, my very first uh, the very first playthrough of No Man's Sky. Now, granted. I've never, I've never been one to imagine that I am a fast learner at any, anything, guys. So take this, take this, uh, don't laugh at me or joke with me or joke about me too badly about this. My very first save in No Man's Sky, I did not know, I did not know that you could craft carrot sheets. I and this was the disc version. That didn't even have the day one patch. I didn't even have internet back when I bought this game, right? So, I didn't know you could craft carrot sheets out of iron. 
I thought there was an item that you had to find. So I got to my craft ship in the game. Well, I think it starts you out beside your craft ship back in the disc one or uh, disc version. So start out beside the ship, or I had to walk very shortly to it, right? So I found I found the heridium that you needed, which is like the hydrogen now. So I found the heridium that you needed to repair uh, some part in it. Uh, found the heridium, got it, got it repaired. And the only thing I needed, I found all the items I needed except for the uh, except for the uh, the carrot sheets. And I did not, for the life of me, know how to find carrot sheets. So I went out walking on this on this. It was like a really mild toxic planet, right? So I went out walking on this toxic planet to find uh, somewhere to purchase or trade for carrot, carrot sheets. And I come across, uh, I think it was a signal booster at the time. They had, in the original disc version, they had these, uh, let's see if I got one in here. I don't even think I got one in my, I don't even think I got one in my parts menu. But I found, I went and found an original signal booster and it gave me a location for a minor settlement. And the minor settlement was an hour and a half on foot away from like a, the, um, it was an hour and a half away from the uh, uh, signal booster and another hour, because I had walked about an hour to find the signal booster, right? So I'm like two hours deep into the game. Found a minor settlement an hour and a half on foot away from, away from uh, my character or away from the signal booster. I walked to that minor settlement and played around with and played around with mining and harvesting stuff to where I had enough money to buy me four carat sheets and I eventually a shuttle started you know ships would land there at the time or back in the day ships would land at minor settlements so I sat there and sold gold iridium and I think it might have been copper or something or no, no, you could get, uh, I think it was uranium, uranium and nickel. You could all, you could mine all these things from these, uh, uh big, like, per, protruding mineral, uh, resource things. And I mined and mined for like an hour, hour and a half and sold enough resources to afford a shuttle. And my very first ship, before I ever flew the the Rossamama or whatever it was back in those days, uh, was a was a freaking shuttle. Like I said, I played. I probably had six or seven hours in before I ever left the first planet, guys. So, like I said, don't 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 judge me too harshly for my noobishness. And then I think it wasn't. Uh, I don't think it was very long. It could have been maybe a half an hour later when I realized that there was a crafting option in the menu or in the uh, in, in the inventory screen. And I could have crafted carrot sheets and had my Rossamama fixed like five hours earlier because I had plenty of iron to do it. Yes, that was a that was a the sword first playthrough in No Man's Sky. That was that was back when uh, Sentinels were bigger uh, pecker heads, and you know you couldn't you couldn't mine ferrite, you couldn't mine iron without getting shot at. Of course, squiddies are the only real true exotics. Yeah, true. Uh, it's all universe. They flies intended in their universe. Is that what it is? Let's see. Ba, ba, ba. If you watch nat nature shows about ocean squids, you will see they swim both directions of the tentacles or out front to attack prey with. Ah. Uh, Carl Lecture Check and the other or the other night he was still referring to needing zinc for something. Yes! Zinc. I remember that mess. Basically, I think it's a uh, sodium now. Or the sodium plants. You, it got re, got uh, made into zinc plants. But yes, I remember those days very vividly. Plutonium. I remember uh, remember having pockets full of plutonium. Hi, hiding in hiding in heridium. Y'all remember that trick? 
you hide from the storm in the heridium deposit oh yes yeah, sir bringing back some memories back in the OG days that's back that's back that's back when it was a uh, back when fixed cloud Sean was still on uh, the 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 Twitters uh, I know cover TV used to call it a ship rust bucket when we first started playing them in the sky those are the good old days heck yeah man marine oh man dude I blew uh, I blew hidden pandas mind dude like he didn't know like what was it there was an upgrade that required Omegon and he didn't know um, Derek P what's up buddy welcome to it good to see you he didn't know. He looked around everywhere trying to find Omegon. Couldn't find it anywhere. And I'm like, all right, dude, try this. Build a galactic trade terminal on your freighter. He's like, what? I said, do it. Build a galactic trade terminal on your freighter and check what it sells. He And like nine, nine times out of ten, whatever system you was in, the freighter would have Omegon in the Galactic Trade Terminal. And you could buy it. There was like an Omega upgrade for a mining beam or a phase beam for your ship that uh, that required the uh, Omegon. And it was really hard to find. Or I'm afraid that Nature of the Squid Swim tentacles first. Probably so. But they look awkward. <laughs> Alright, so that looks like I got plenty of plenty of uh, carbon and uh, ionized cobalt. Let's uh, let's do one more. Let's run until these refiners are done, which they're done. Cool. Let's finish the refiners out and uh, and then we'll get to crafting uh, my resources for. Looks like they are done. Nice. It was Omegon Marine and something else was the purple purple elements that you could uh, collect. But man dude, I, I look back at like the disc the disc version in like the day one of No Man's Sky where it was at then and what we have now is just freaking insane man. My old base sold Omegon and Radnox. Radnox, that was it. That was it. Was pure luck back when you had to claim one base only on a fixed location. Dude, yeah, one base per solar system. That was uh that was some crazy, crazy days, man. That that was back in the uh oh, what was it? Uh Good God. The Atlas Rises update. Dude, that was back during Atlas Rises, man. That was uh, that was some crazy stuff. All right, so let's see what kind of... Uh... All right, so I got a ton of this. Let's see, and I got the... Uh... I got plenty of the... All right, so let's go to the freighter because I got the most uh, space here, I think. We're going to get you 26. Let's do 26 real quick. Easy peasy. How much, uh, I want to say, how much, uh, let's go ahead and move that to the, uh, freighter. Okay, so I only need 25, because I got one already. Okay, 25. Let's go. Alright, so I got 20 of those, so I just need five more. I'm getting the right menu here. Five more of the, uh, Aronium. And then they do 25 of a uh, 25 of the uh, Magna Gold. Hello, where you at, Magna Gold? I'm, there it is. 25 of the Magna Gold, and then 25 of the gr Grand Team. This was pre next. Thank you. Yeah, maybe Atlas Rises. Yes. Yeah, Atlas Rises uh, changed up. I think uh, next was when they changed. Um, they changed the uh, iron to ferrite dust, and uh, um, yeah, uh, what was that other element? Uh, started with a T. Titanium 
is a uh, was uh those titanium big yellow titanium crystals or was I it was a uh, I it was the plus sodium I can't remember what it's called now crap lost my train of thought uh sodium nitrate that was it and then uh, the other one was a uh, sodium. All right, there is 25 of those. Now let's make. Right, what am I missing for that? Why won't it let me craft more? That's weird. Yeah, next changed all the elements. Yep. Uh, finding Radnox on the starter planet was amazing. Eating money, but dodging sentinels as they triggered so fast. Yes, they did. Um, uh, base so cool. Nice. All right, so that is 26 of, what is, oh, that's rare metal element. Oh, son of a gun. All right. God, it's been a minute since I've seen rare metal element. All right, so we need to do one more of each of these. There we go. Now I can craft more. Sweet. Now let's put, I need starship. What kind of inventory space? Ah, loads of space. Okay, cool. All right. So that's 26. So that means I'm going to need 52 of each of the, uh, each of the, uh, uh, gas products. So nitrogen salt, I need 52. So you always need double of what you're intending on crafting. Am I out already? <gasps> I am out of nitrogen. Crap. Huh. So 44, so that'll make uh, 22 of them. All right, so that's 44 of that. Crap. Total BS. Do I got to do 44 of these? I do. Nice. Good. I got 44 of those. I do. Nice. Okay, so there's 44. All right, so that'll be 22 of the... Uh, Hot ice. Whoa. Let's not do that. Oh, yeah, never mind. My bad. I did. It'll craft. All right, let's get a hot ice. Let's stop at 22 this time. Now it won't let me craft, but uh, so many uh, semiconductors or 22 semiconductors. Boom, there we go. Now let's go to uh, bu 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 superconductors. Superconductors. Moving sucks. Oh no. Oh, so today my mom told me that she's going to talk to my mom's lawyer about when I'll be moving to the Washington State. To Washington State. And no, I don't mean Washington DC. I mean, actually mean Washington State, aka Seattle. Oh my dude. Yeah, I got a buddy that lives up there. So yeah, that's a, that's a haul, bud. I need superconductor. No, I made superconductor. I need a uh, crow. There we go, crow pumps. Done and done. Man, dude, that sucks. Where are you moving from? Is a good question for you. All right, let's see. We need to make uh, da -da -da -da, quantum processors. Yay! And then we need to make. Uh, Cryogenic chambers. Boom. Then we need to make uh, do stasis devices. Let's go. Let's go. Not for long. <laughs> yeah, he's leaving Seattle soon. What's up, Tragos? How's it going, buddy? Good to see you. All right, send that to my exosuit. Nice, nice. Now, let's go back up here and uh, toss all this uh, carbon and ionized. Let's see, do I got an empty one up here? That's not empty. Try that one. That's not empty. That's empty. Cool. There we go. Now let's put. Get all that. Ooh, I missed one up top. Not there. Over here. There we go. Get in there. Cool. Nice. I'll stay that one in here. That cobalt. 
Let's go toss the oxygen over here. I'm moving from Minnesota to Washington State. Well, to be fair, that's pretty up north there, so it won't be a, a, a climate shock to you anyway, so you're used to the cold. Won't be too, too horrible. All right, what did I use up? I used up uh, phosphorus and, oh my, I need to grab a stack of that ionized back. Oh my, I need a stack of the, uh... all right, throw that there. Move that in, let's see. Go grab Delta One, what's up dude? How's it going buddy? There, put that back. Now we need condensed. Inventory management at its finest. Uh work sucks. Oh dude. <laughs> That's why it's called work, man. It's a four letter word. You ever wonder why four letter words always have such a negative uh negative meaning? Work is one of those four letter words. I live in Spokane. Nice, Chris. Heck yeah, man. I lived my entire life within about 20 minutes of where I was born, and I've lived in three houses. Sweet, shut up. Heck yeah, man. No Man's Sky again. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, Delta. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you. Hey, at least Seattle doesn't have tornadoes. I'm going to say, yeah, true, true. Midnight all. Another day of sword must be Christmas. Nah, I, I finally decided to get off my lazy butt and uh, do some No Man's Sky content for y'all guys. Heck yeah. Let's see. Do I got a partial stack here somewhere I'm missing? Well, not really. Well, let's go there and grab that paraffinium. Top that off. Well, let's top that off. There we go. Cool. All right. So we are set. Looking good. Looking good. And we got 22 stasis devices to go sell now, guys. Sweet. I am way too far south for tornadoes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's this man? I feel like I've met him in a former life. What is up, brother from another mother? Ballista Cola. How's it going, buddy? Welcome to it. I lived in the Lynn Ritz area while my mom joined the army and off we went to see the world. And after she left the army, we landed in Moses Lake until I joined the Navy. That's right, buddy. All right, so this is... We need to leave the freighter and go to the uh, space station this is the uh, uh, Kanga Akar system which is the uh, derelict freighter S-class derelict freighter in Eisentam. Uh so it has a really awesome um, sell rate for uh, stasis devices but what you want to do is find a NPC to sell to did Mrs. Sword twist your arm? No, no. Um, she she did to get me. She ah, she was very supportive of the idea of me streaming again. Let me put it that way. It wasn't like she like chained me to my chair and said, "Don't come out of your room until you streamed." No, she she's a I don't know. She she does encourage it because uh she does encourage it because it is kind of therapeutic for me. I do enjoy hanging out with y'all guys and and actually uh, like doing some live streams. And she knows I've missed it too. So. Miss Sword was sick of seeing his face and told him to go play. Very true. Which to be fair, she can just have me play without streaming. Trust me, Trey goes to tell you. I'm usually I'm usually in the studio most nights. I just ain't live. Just need a break from you. <laughs> All right, no problem, buddy. Pretty much, yeah. That, that, you about right, uh, Midnight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you want to go stream? <laughs> yeah, 3.7. So that is 356 million, which will put me up to almost almost a billion. It'd be like 900,000 900, or 900 million. That's cool. Let's check the... Uh, Heck yeah, man. I'll, uh, I'll keep... I probably will be streaming... Probably another two hours. So. Take a photo of a portal. Or to take that one. 
Yes, let's take that one. Because I got a portal right by my base, dude. Man, I hope that one pops up. I hope that thing just keeps popping up. I'll just keep going back to the base and taking a picture of the portal. <laughs> but yeah, if you sell to the NPCs, it doesn't trash the uh, the purchase rate or the sell rate uh, for the rest of the system. What am I doing? Wrong button. Come here. Come here, you. Come here. That would be my wife. She got so she got so sick of me teasing her all the time. Yeah, true, very true. I I do give her a very hard time. Probably more than deserved. Nice, three point seven from this guy. It's usually three point six. Sweet. All right, let's go. No, six hundred million. I, man, I need to do math better. I I'm starting to suck at math. Like badly. Look at all these shuttles. My goodness. Somehow one of the station's cores remind me of GLaDOS from Portal 2. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright, let's go take a picture of my uh, of my portal outside my base. And then we'll head to the settlement and get 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 busy. So I always uh, very much out of old cake. Oh no, what did I miss? <laughs> no, it's all deserved. <laughs> Where is my landing pad? There we go. Is that the portal side? It is not. Go this way. I need to put like a little arrow on the floor pointing to the door that leads out to the portal. and done. Very nice. Cake equals portal. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, I never played portal, so I, I went completely over my head on that one, John. Alright, let's go to the station. Uh, current system. I could turn this one in. Because I need salvage frigate modules. That worked out great. Let's turn in missions. And in mission. Boom. What? There we go. Okay, why did that not work? Mm hmm. Okay, what? Take a port. Take a photo of a portal. Trying to see if it has a. All right, we got. The... All right, let's try again with the mission active. Well, the mission was active, wasn't it? I think it was. Weird. Very, very weird, man. No Man's Sky weirdness. Here I was thinking it was going to be easy money. Like with most uh, missions, far more trouble than their work. So I always do like the uh, passive, mm, passive missions, uh, like killing sentinels. I thought it did too, but it, when I went to go hand it, it moved my ship to the other side.
The client has provided approximate approximate coordinates. Oh, yep. It's a specific planet. You son of a... Mm. Yeah, it was specific. Why you gotta be difficult, no man's sky? Come on, bruh. <laughs> Which, to be fair, I passively kill Sentinels most of my gameplay anyway, so... Man, I thought I was going. I thought that was easy money, guys. I thought, dude, I can keep taking that mission forever. No, 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 you can't. Not for you, sword. It's for you, dude. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and build me uh, two metal plating because I know I'm going to uh, put a. Uh, I know I'm going to put down a uh, beacon when I get here. I know people seeing my Steam feed are like, why does he keep taking pictures of portals for? <laughs> you dirty rat. I'm flying I'm flying an in-game Misk Fury. Let's see, let's make that a purple and yellow. So it's marked for portal. There we go, cool. Now, let's take a picture. Let me get my cool. Done and done. markers hanging out. Probably the worst mechanic in the game that approximately... Oh, dude, trust me. What really got me aggravated with that, uh, with that, uh, approximate location junt is, like, some... Like, especially during the expedition, like, you knew the location was one of them archives, and it's like... You could see that crap from space any other time you flew up on one. But if you had to go scan for it with that uh with that uh uh, uh ping scanner or target sweep, you wouldn't see it until you landed your ship. Therefore you had to pay for launch fuel to take off and go land on it when you found it. Very, very annoying. Alright, cool. Done and done. Let's see. Photo of underwater creature. Yes. Got my frigate module. Heck yeah. Living it up now, boys. Got a, got a savage frigate module. Alright. Why fly when you can portal? They should add a. a assertive mission for helping a fellow alien race fix a crash ship dude <laughs> those those missions have never been worth doing like they should up the reward for, for that stuff I'll fly up on it and say ooh a crash ship and I'll see somebody walking around like eh, nope alright moves network thought of police oh cool add sodium mine I'll take it Tag it. You should be able to buy the crash ship. You, they have an NPC. Yeah, true, man. So like, hey, man, I know you stranded, but here's some money. Go away. <laughs> Very nice. All right, let's see where I'm at. I just, I just took this thing yesterday, so bear with me. It is, it is very poorly. It's in very poor shape. Cool. All right. Done and done. Now, let's see. I put the, I put the base computer inside. Cool. 
I did start laying some foundation for uh, flooring it out. Gonna alert. Try not to pass out here after dinner. I hear you, buddy. Got that belly full, did you? Alright, do I have uh, anything going on as far as building here? Yeah, I do. Cool. I need six metal plating. Let's go metal plating. Man, that almost eat up all my ferrite dirt, dirt or dust. Cool. Got an hour. Nice. Let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Now, I started out, I was originally going to try to do it in wood. And I didn't really like the wood. So I went back to metal. But I tried to do some different patterns in the metal. <laughs> so or in on the metal flooring to uh, be decorative and kind of give a little bit of bearing where it needs to go. But the unfortunate thing is you can't color. I'm still not set on it. I may... Oh my god, if it didn't take lasagna too much. Oh dude, I love lasagna, man. Mrs. Orb makes some killer, killer, killer lasagna. Running that settlement like a failed state, economic woes are plenty. Yes. Yes, they are, sir. Yes, they are. Man, if it wasn't for... Mm, if it didn't take so much doggone silicate powder to do the, uh, uh, what you call it? I really, 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 really like the uh, that's full plant, full panel. I really like that you can color the the stone and make it look fairly cool. Cool. I like I like being able to color the stone and you can kind of get some kind of directional with it but it chews up so much sil it's it's five silicate powder each which I know yes yeah, silicate powder is like the easiest resource to get until you need lots of it and it turns into a uh, it turns into a struggle bus real quick. But I do want some color break in this flooring. So I may do it this way. How is it your OCD allows the floors not to be all facing the same way? Well, they are. There's a pattern to this junk. Like, those are, like, I'll, I'll go into delete mode so you can see it. So I got all four of these in a circular, the big uh, four square panels, right? And I got four square panels going out on either side and down the middle. But they're all, if you notice, everything's facing like crossways from that side. From that side. And then I changed these to a different style to kind of get a break in it. But it did it would it didn't uh it didn't uh, come off like I wanted it to, so that's why I'm gonna replace it with these uh with these stone. Plus that, and I was, uh, this was like a first draft last night while I was waiting on, uh, while I was waiting on that first building to get start, get going. But yes, <laughs> I kind of wanted to have like, I want it to seem kind of like paths so you can kind of get a bearing of where the buildings are or where you're, uh, like north, south, east, west from the, uh, from the uh, uh, little plant or monolith in the middle of it. Plus that, and I didn't want to overdo the... Uh, I didn't want to overdo it too much right away until I get most of my buildings uh, crafted.
Only problem with this, you run out of you run out of the silica powder so quick. Like one of my normal mode saves, I got the uh, all stone. And man, it looks good, but dude, I got tired of hunting for silicate powder pretty quick. Cause like it's almost like it's almost like glitter in your inventory, man. You can't get rid of the stuff. Every time you look at something, you get some silicate powder. Until you need to use silicate powder for crafting, and then then it's like you can't get enough of it, you can't find it fast enough. I wish we had cities in No Man's Sky, but although Bebum did explain that the lore says that the Sentinels destroyed all the cities have never been rebuilt since. Silicate powder, easy way, dig deeper hole, jump down, run around using a train flattener. I flattener? Oh, okay. I didn't try the flattener, but yeah, that Hmm. We'll try the train flattener, bud. I will definitely go try that. See if the flattener gives me any faster than the just the uh, mining. That doesn't look bad. Ooh, let's do uh All right, so we'll do um we'll do concrete borders with uh gold concrete or with the metal. See how that works out. All right, snap dog on you. Nope, that didn't work. Wrong way. Let's try that again. Snap correctly this time. There we go. That'll work. That'll do. We'll use the uh, metal as the color break. And I messed up. It snapped. Oh, no, that worked. Okay. Try. There we go. Cool. No, because that inner inner row on the at the uh, monolith or whatever you want to call that in the center, I actually got it raised a little bit to hide those uh, pallets. That'll work right there. Holy smokes. All right, so go dig a hole. Use the flattener. Check. All right, so let's see. It's like tiling a floor, guys. At least I did have the foresight not to uh, start crafting under the buildings until I got the pattern sorted out of what I wanted. I got everything in a position where it can be deleted or where I can get a hold of it to delete it. As opposed to having it under buildings where I can't get to it. Yeah, if the wood, if you could colorize the wood, it wouldn't be so bad. Or the wood floor panels. You can do the walls, no problem. But the floor panels are, uh, they're a static color. Same with the uh, metal. You can't do no coloration on it. Or it won't, it won't or it wouldn't for me. So I don't know if it's a, if that's intended or if it's a bug. Right, so now, let's see, let's do metal. There, 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 hmm. 
I may be able to get that deleted if I delete it if I change up. I'm pretty committed to this one. Let's go. Let's fracking go. Oh, hold on a sec. Yep, OCD check. Thank goodness you can't see those. That would uh, definitely drive me bonkers, which it still does. So let's see if I can get a hold of them. Yes. Very nice. What do y'all guys think so far? I think I'm uh, going to slowly slip into madness with this or uh, I should be okay. Kind of debating on uh, just doing the four rows of metal in the center of each one of these and uh, do it all in uh, the large floor. Eh, nah, 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 nah. Gives me a little bit of a little bit of a color break. All right, let's find the low end of this crater so I can get out and uh, go uh, plant some silicate powder and hit the wall. <laughs> nice all right let's go to uh flatten let's see what happens That yeah, it's giving up pretty quick. How bad am I mauling the side of this uh, hill? <laughs> oh, I'm out of a uh, charge. <laughs> Ab loving, Ab nineteen eighty seven. Welcome to the channel, buddy. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to it. That work well in a cave, yeah. Heck yeah, Pete. Thank you for the tip, bud. Sorry, what are we looking at now? I got... 2,300 so far? No, 2,800. That's not bad. Not bad at all. The Sentinel's confused. It's like, what, what happened here? Should, should I be mad or... <laughs> All 
All right, where is the settlement? There we go. Go large four panel and go. Don't really matter, does it? Cool. I'm thinking get rid of the outside, the two straps on either side of the middle, or the two metal runs on each side and just go all, what y'all think? Let me know in the chat if you think that might look better. And just have one one row of metal panel leading out of, leading away. I think that looks a lot cleaner. A lot easier to manage too. I mean, it'll look a little plain, but I'm, I'm not going for like really intricate detail, just to, cause then that'll leave me a chance, or that, ooh, okay. So that will need some adjusting to go a panel in there. It's like, I can go in and do uh, small ones. And then put the metal one Right there. Right. Snap point. I mean, I look, that'll look a little plain, but it'll be a lot easier to manage. Kind of like that better. Yeah, do one row. That's what I was thinking. Thinking, yeah, that's probably gonna look a lot better in the long run, especially. Very nice. Oh, I I've been.
Oh yeah. Definitely better. Alright, cool, cool. Hopefully, uh, we'll... Wrong button. That's done. Cool, cool. Ooh. Bad thing is I'm going to like this. I'm going to like this better before the end of the stream. And then I got three normal mode saves that is going to get probably get redone call seven <laughs> it's not a bad thing about having multiple saves guys like you'll do you'll you'll play you'll find you'll find something on one of them saves that you like better and then you'll you'll start uh you'll start replacing all that stuff all, all the other builds <laughs> with what you had on that on the save that you like Very nice. All right, cool. Now, do we have anything going on at the settlement? Running smoothly. Let's go double check. Man, I got here last night and uh, kicked it up, and I had like three or four uh, either visitors or whatnot coming to the to the station. It was pretty nice. Very, very, very much enjoyed that. All right. Let's see. We didn't. Um, Hmm. Gotta see what kind of shambles my freighter uh, fleet's in. Or my frigate fleet's in. That too, and I need to hit some derelicts. That was kind of why I wanted to get a for, uh, farm going so I could uh, I could hammer out derelict freighters, do like four or five of them, uh, four or five of them a night. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's go look and see what the freighters look like. Because they're probably a hodgepodge of a little bit of everything. I don't think I, I don't think I had any rhyme or reason with my freighter fleet. Let's see, and that, and you can't tell because it's dark. Really, dog on it, game. All right, so let's go call. Let's go pull the freighter somewhere where the sun's shining. That way I can see my fr see my fleet in the viewer, or I can just fly out and go look at them. That might be the better idea. Just go into camera mode. Oh my god. Yeah, they're every color under the sun. Holy smokes. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, they're white and yellow. Yeah. They were supposed to be all yellow because I had a yellow freighter. All right. So that pretty much made that decision. Pass. Which... Mm. Doggone it. I'm conflicted now. Because I thought about doing yellow on the uh, freighter color because I'm black and yellow on this save. I haven't even painted this thing yet. Son of a gun. All right, boys. Let's go. Uh, let's go delve in the madness of a uh, of Swords OCD. Discover the depth of my insanity when it comes to stuff being perfect. All right, let's get over here and see what we got going on. Base parts and upgrades. I got four so far. I believe I've got pretty much everything I need unlocked. Yes. Cool. All right. So I got yellow already. Nice. All right, so go check her out in yellow. So she looks like yellow, painted yellow. Oh my! Engines. Let's see what do we got. Red. Oh. I 
because gravity is pretty good. Antimatter, eh, not so much. And then crimson. <laughs> Alright, let's try. Dude, the painting on these things are so weird. See how it changes all in panels to different colors? Let's see. Yeah, I got the gravity ones on mine. Nice. Yeah, I like those gravity ones. Okay, what did that leave yellow? It's so it sucks so bad that the sun's on the wrong side. All right, let's see. Let's see. This is what bugs me about the uh, the dreadnoughts. It's like you, you really only got cut options to do one color because the soon as you start check, you know, it don't do like certain panels. Like I would be happy if it was like top, sides, bottom, and those fins were the four options that you had. But you can go to uh, yeah, that don't work. Yeah, I mean, you pretty much got to, you pretty much got to go to one color. I'm trying to see what's changing as I'm swapping. Yeah, so weird. You can go no. Well, yeah, I think that's yellow as well. Okay. So it doesn't really matter. Alright, so let's go with that. Uh my save with the pirate freighter has the singularity drive, so I can jump jump it through the black hole animation. Looks good with the gravity drive engines at the back. Oh cool. Let's save that. Nice. Let's see what it looks like in the there we go. My God, that's yellow. That's a yellow black freighter. It's the bumblebee. <laughs> it's yellow jacket. The wasp, which I do have my character paint set up like the wasp. So. <laughs> All right, cool. So, hmm. Cause see, I went white and white and yellow with my frigate fleet. But like I said, it was on permanent, so I couldn't buy a bunch of them because I didn't have a whole lot of units at the time. All right, how many of those little, uh, I got three. I got enough units to buy. I got enough units to buy quite a few of them. So let's see. Let's go ahead and switch to uh, a better weapon. Get rid of my staff for this, guys. Let's go to the space station and buy some uh, modules. All right, so space station we go. Here we come. Go visit our friendly scrap dealer, along with the big Wizard of Oz, Fairy Wand, and multi -tool. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, somebody had to tell me this guy was under here. I, I looked like the first night I played, I looked in two or three stations. I'm like, oh my God, how are you supposed to get these uh, emergency signal scanners now? And then somebody, I was watching somebody stream. Like, oh yeah, he's under the uh, the uh, guild guy. I'm like, really? And I went and checked. And I'm like, sure as he is. All right, let's see if we can get 10 of these out real quick. The reason I like this system so much is uh you can you can run you can run these out rapid fire. Like they you'll go through ten of these quick because it's such a short freighter. Exactly, man. Why why did the strap do not get no love? It's like 
take your tent and go hide in a hole. We don't like you, scrap guy. You don't you don't get your own booth at the new station, even though, even though we got this entire row up here, the entire third floor of this place is nothing but crates. Okay? That whole third floor up there is nothing but crates. You couldn't get him a little place comfortable corner up in the top third floor. No, you stuck him in the basement and hid him from the world. You ought to be ashamed, Sean. You ought to be ashamed. Alright, let's go. <laughs> no love for the scrap guy. What's up, Josh Fall? How's it going, buddy? Welcome to it. Patch notes says station layouts more functional, etc., etc. Unless no one can find. I know, dude. Like I said, I didn't like. It should be fair. I'm not the best one with directions or signage and stuff like that. So I kind of get where I can miss it. But I kind of, I kind of base my thought pattern is like I might be an average player, if not sub-average. I found him instantly. <laughs> There's Hyper M with the jab. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> oh, this is my first derelict voice. No, it ain't. It is not. Okay, unsealed door. Let's go. Scrap guy looks like a squatter while wow, they set him up. Yes, he does, man. I poked around everywhere in the new space stations when they went live. Nice. That was uh, me. I, I looked at it uh, when it first come out and uh, checked them out, but it was like, okay, I'm I'm struggling for the scrap guy. Jump! Well, I got you in the chat. Was it you that found this uh this uh Sentinel multi tool with the three supercharged in the center, or was it lava lamps? I can't remember. I know you. Po I know you was the one that posted it in the Discord, but I wasn't sure if it was you or you or him that found it. Yeah, I don't do as I don't do as much scavenging when I'm hunting for like a freighter uh, bulkhead slots, and I definitely don't do the uh, logs when I'm in when I'm trying to hustle through these things. But like I said, I usually don't do the scrapping. But I need I'm needing a uh, salvage frigate modules to get that last uh, hyperdrive uh, blueprint unlocked. I think it was lava. Yeah, that's what I was wondering, because I know uh, sometimes, like back then, you was posting a little bit, uh, both of y'all was posting stuff. Dang, where's he hiding at? There he is. Die. What is up, Agent Serico? How's it going, buddy? Or Serco? Don't know why I wanted to put an I in there. Or add a... All right, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Yeah, if you don't hit the crates, man, you can knock these out in like a minute or so. It don't take long at all. Good evening from Poland, man. How's it going? How's it going? Alright, so we need bulkheads. Terribly bad. 
It's the only drawback to the uh, uh, Dreadnought freighters. Is if you get the S class, they only got like 23, 24 uh, tech slots. Or no, not even that many. 23 or 24 uh, uh, cargo slots, and then just a like thir 13 or so tech. Yes, yeah, crap guys, totally a space hobo though. Yes. <laughs> Posted a few you found. I remember changing the planet names. The thing like drop bear. Oh yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> Yo, you gotta keep an eye out for them drop bears, eh? <laughs> oh god, that was horrible. Sorry, my bad. I'm embar I'm embarrassed for myself. Oh my! Is it going outside every time? I didn't have that. I don't have that many prompts on normal mode. That's weird. <laughs> Probably better than North Carolina accent. <laughs> oh, yeah. I miss a sword. Huh? Yes. You gonna come say hey to everybody? Now come on with the bed head. Come on. Let him see that hair. Alright then. Oh god. See Miss a sword coming here and I finally start taking some massive damage. You see how she does guys. She's like, oh, he's playing permadeath. Let's go distract him with something. You see how she does me. That reminds me. I need to back up my save files tonight. <laughs> in case in case she really does get me killed. <laughs> she done she done long gone junk. She she was gonna come in here and talk to me, and it's like she's seen all the studio lights on. She's like, oh, you're streaming? Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Trying to say it through your nose. You have more luck with the stereotype. I'll see accent. Cool. <laughs> I had to practice off stream one day. A few times I tried to impersonate you for a video, but never saw the lot of tail YouTube sounds. <laughs> Oh man, definitely. I you definitely gotta do it now. You don't you don't spoke it into existence, you know? Swords nemesis, Mrs. Sword. Tell I'm telling you, man. She put it this way, she's the type like. All right, so y'all y'all ever seen that movie with um Jennifer Aniston and um what's his name uh called the breakup. Where he's in there playing a, uh, where he's in there playing like a uh, some kind of boxing game, like Mike Tyson's punch out or something, and she just walks through the walks through through the through the house naked, and he just stops what he's doing and looks until he gets beat down and KO'd. That's something that she would do to get me killed on permadeath, guys. Um, more like a drunk fuzzy bear or something from the Bible. So no. <laughs> nice. Uh. <laughs> 
Yeah, she's not kind to my no man sky saves. Bad thing bad thing is she would clip it and just sit back in her room and laugh until she peed herself for getting me killed. Let's go, hypnotic guy. That sucked. Come on, give me better drops, man. Now, once I get enough uh, enough slots in my technology to start doing the uh, S-Class modules, I'll, I'll do I'll probably do most of this stuff off-stream, guys, because it is a grind. But like I said, if you're skipping most of the boxes, you can do, you can run through this thing quick, because it's only got 12 sections. I think you only have to go through like eight of them. And like I said, it it's all robots and the little green squiddy things, so you can avoid almost all of them. I think that third room has a couple that will shoot at you. They do put those screens in a very awkward spot. You normally hit them when you're trying to get a box open. Oh my god, I remember that time she walked in and you didn't see her and scared the crap out of you. I think we clipped it. Dude, I'm telling you, man, she's done that crap to me a couple times. Like, she done it to me while I wasn't streaming. Uh, or back back when I was on my hiatus, man. Dude, coming here and scared me so bad, dude. I thought I was going to... I mean, I'm, like, I was having a hard time catching my breath. She got me so good. Because, like, I don't see that side. And she'll come in... She'll come into the studio and... Like, she walked right behind me and put her hand on my shoulder. I about come up out of this chair. It's like, put some freaking bells on, woman. <laughs> I would get her a necklace that's got a got like a, a chimey or a little little tinging bell that'll that you can't you can't miss. It's really perma if you can't restore the backup. I I agree, Jean. And I've always said I've always said on permadeath, even like even if I wouldn't stream it, right? If I ever die because of a a skill issue. Like, I didn't foresee something, or I bit off more than I could chew and got killed on it. Definitely, I'd let it ride. But I've I've had instances where glitches have killed me. <laughs> and uh, I, I keep backups now. She's in a necklace with a five foot. Dude, I'm telling you, man. Get her an air tag. <laughs> get some iPhone alert when she gets close. <laughs> I wonder if she'd get mad if I, if I snuck an air tag into something she wore. <laughs> so I got tracking you, man. Get a, get a little, get, get like a reverse electric, uh, invisible fence. Get a, get a little bracelet when she gets within like 10 foot of my room, she just shocks her. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. My daughter did that to me at midnight when I thought everyone was asleep. Place a, place a dark set the TV with my game on it. She nearly got popped until I realized who it was. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, man. I get I get zoned into my games. <laughs> Alright, let's 
Let's go. Yeah, this room has like two of those little robot guys in it that usually shoot at you. This one usually don't see me, but occasionally he'll he'll see me and come shoot at me. Ain't got a salvage frigate module yet, I don't believe. So I still got the one. No, no, that's a bulkhead. That's what salvage frigate module at. Did it put it directly into the uh, freighter inventory? Yeah, I think it did. Cool. Three. Nice. So I need uh, nine more <laughs> of uh, salvage frigate modules. Oh, come on, man. How was it I was looking at the crate and it picked that up? Dirty, dirty dog. I can picture her face when she unwraps her next birthday. It's <laughs> a shot collar, yeah. <laughs> so, no, no, that's not a shot collar. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I was like, Dad's getting old. There's a heart, that's heart attack stuff, yes. I'm telling you, man, she gets, she got, she's got me good a few times. I think she gets kicked out of it. So it's all fun and games until the old man dies and you got to call an ambulance. Oh yeah. Thought it was funny until the ambulance come up. I had to come park me out of here. See, on normal mode, I don't have to restart the gravity, and I don't have to do this next one, or hazard control. That's so weird. Dude, there we go. Now we need eight more. Let's see, I got one right here I can grab, and then one right there I can grab. Grab that one for the. So what videos coming out? When's your uh, when's your next multi-tool video coming out or next race video coming out, uh, Junt? I'm getting antsy, man. He's got he's got a couple of them. He's got a really really cool uh, alien multi-tool coming out here soon, and then that one that had the unfortunate name. <laughs> Tomorrow, good good. I'm looking I'm looking forward to that one. Guys in chat, if you hadn't checked out Junk's channel, go check him out, guys. Definitely, definitely worth a subscribe. Him and Lava Lamps are a freaking hoot, guys. Cool, cool man. Heck yeah, dude. Uh-oh. Where she scares you. <laughs> nice. A 
I'll have to I'll have to grab that one later. It I I can't play any um any of the previous stream stuff right now, Junk, because uh I don't know if you would I don't think you was here at the beginning of the stream. Um I I guess I bought a year subscription to that epidemic sound. So basically, or either that or when I, uh, I think what it was, I changed my debit card or something because I got a new debit card with a new number, and I changed my. What the heck is that? I changed my um, debit card over on my PayPal account, and what happened back in September when I weren't streaming, uh, my Epidemic Sound uh, canceled out or didn't renew, and when I streamed Sunday. I had uh, that background music, and I got pinged for copyright on pretty much the whole, like, it It was a page of songs that they pinged me for for Sunday, so I'm like, well, let me go see, because I was, I was, I was halfway through, uh, going through and, uh, refuting the, uh, the copyright, because I, because the music's licensed through Epidemic Sound. I was I was through it until it uh, got to the point where you had to put your attribution in, and I went to the Epidemic Sound to go pull a link to send to YouTube saying, "Oh, screw you guys," and um, that's when I seen that it got it got suspended or whatnot back in September. I'm like, "Well, son of a gun." <laughs> Thursday's always multi-tool race day. Tomorrow is a white and green experimental rifle. Nice, nice. Okay, so Thursday. Cool, cool. Dancing in the hallway. That's right, buddy. Yeah, man. It was a... Like I said, man. It it was a whole list of stuff that I got pinged for copyright on, on Sunday. I'm like, son of a... But, I mean... I... I when I was setting up 60th, oh my. So yeah, you got seven more weeks before that one pops. My goodness, dude. At the rate you guys are racing, you could probably get away with doing two races a week on uploads. <laughs> 65th and 67, nice. We did a bunch when Mrs. Jump was on a cruise. Nice, nice. Okay, I didn't know if that's why you was ahead or if you just tried, if you stayed several weeks ahead for a vacation or time off or something. Cool, cool. She wasn't here annoying me, so I had more time to race. <laughs> she she gonna come back and it's gonna look like you've been at a been having a frat party. She's gonna ground you. She's gonna ground you for a couple months. So you had to get ahead. <laughs> All right, buddy. Cool, cool. T tell her I said hi. <laughs> She can hear you. Hey, Mrs. Jump. Jump's being a good guy. You, you gotta, you gotta come home. And bring him some cookies. Good day. Nice. Heck yeah. <laughs> Mrs. 
Man, you definitely got to go watch all his YouTube videos, Mrs. Junt. He is like, he, he said all kinds of sweet stuff about you. He's like, he's like, I, I spent all this time complimenting my better half because she's such a sweet lady and she never watches my content. So she don't ever hear it. So definitely, definitely got to go back and watch all his videos. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's not. <laughs> well, she she's not reading chat midnight, so she she can only she can only hear the stream in the background. So, <laughs> she's seen some of it. So so. She's so, 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 so unsupportive. <laughs> oh, yeah. To be fair, man, uh, Mrs. Sword was... What? Well, come on, game. Uh, Mrs. Sword actually watched some of my streams. I've caught... She'll, she'll come in like, I'll go to bed after a stream. And she's like, what did you mean when you said that? And I'm like, were you watching? She goes, yeah. <laughs> So that's why that's why I quit talking so much junk about her because she started watching the streams like I'll go to bed I'll go to bed after a stream and she'll be mad at me and I don't know why and it's because of something I said on the stream and like I mean I said it I ain't gonna I ain't gonna she's down behind you from the other room oh no <laughs> Man, <laughs> oh yeah, Buster. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's that's who the uh, dislike button was for so long before YouTube quit showing them. That was that was like a, you remember when I used to get like five dislikes every stream. That was her. <laughs> if you're under duress, blink three times. <laughs> <laughs> the super liker yeah yeah she was she was my super liker between, between that and my kid I think, I think my youngest one was doing it too just, just to get me rattled the safe word is shuttle <laughs> No, the safe the safe the safe phrase is I love shuttles. So if you ever hear me say that, you know I'm being held at gunpoint. <laughs> that that's that's my code word, guys. It's I like crepes. <laughs> And if any of you got that reference, we can be buddies. <laughs> Natalyn, how's it going? Welcome, welcome. Let's go, let's go. I think I got three more to go. Happy Tuesday to you. If he buys a shuttle, you know he's under severe duress? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'll buy a shuttle. Shuttles are good for scrap. Shuttles are good for scrapping, guys. See, and, and to be fair, guys, some of the OG players know this. Like, there's a lot of you guys 
And there's nothing wrong with it. There's a lot of you guys that started playing No Man's Sky after Next update dropped. And like I said, I'm not I'm not one of those I'm not one of those guys that say, oh no, day one player gotta be this and that and the other. No. No. Everybody is everybody's cool that plays No Man's Sky. But anybody that played back in the day knew that that's how you got multiple ships in No Man's Sky. You actually had to trade one at a trade outpost. I don't think, if I'm not mistaken, because it's been it's been a few years, guys. It's been a few years. My, my my memory's not quite what it used to be. But if I'm not mistaken, you used to have to trade a ship at a trade outpost. You couldn't buy a ship. The only place you could buy a ship was on your freighter itself. So what you'd have to do is go to your freighter and buy some uh buy some um shuttles. And use those to trade for the uh, S classes. Aha! Ballista Cola got it. Nice, nice. Pretty good. How's the new update with the ship stuff? Ah, uh, ship stuff's pretty cool. A lot of people like it. The only bug is um, uh, the only problem I've seen, I've heard in chat or seen in chat was a uh, in multiplayer, your color customization for your ship doesn't show up in multiplayer for other people. Never seen it, but I can Google. Really? You cheated. You use Google. Google don't count, Ballista. You only get a half a point. Let's see. Buy shuttle and flies it to a freighter. Yeah, there you go. Man, you've never seen Talladega Nights, Ballista Cola? You are missing out on one of America's most precious precious gems like Will Ferrell is one of the funniest actors on on earth <laughs> uh, time to reconnect my brain was 16 years old or 66 that was excuse nice Like really thin pancakes. <laughs> All right, how many of these we got left? Uh, uh, ooh, we got eight so far of the uh, savage or the bulkheads. Cool. Two more to go. Let's go. Some may call it the Atlas. Nice. How you doing tonight? Alright guys. We're almost there. Let's get through this long process of opening the door. You spoke to Kerber lately, been thinking of trying to reconnect with them again. I do have them added on Facebook. Uh, I talked to him. <clears throat> well, I was uh, just on his or watched his stream. I hadn't really. I think uh, me and him's had a a Discord call in a long time. I did jump in on the Discord uh, on stream one night with him, but they were they were occupied. He had, he had a little crime stat problem I was trying to help him help him fix by sending him to prison to clear it. But no, definitely, uh, I would say shoot him a DM.
Which, to be fair, if you know how good he is at reading DMs, <laughs> you might be, <laughs> might be better sending him a ma or uh, mailing him a letter. <laughs> like he is the world's worst man. When he when he tabs out to his Discord ch or Discord page, <laughs> it's like freaking seven hundred Discord notifications he ain't unlock opened up. Like that that alone would drive me insane. Like I get mad at Facebook because I'll see like I'll see like uh, notifications of people that I know have posted or something. So I open Facebook, like I'll look at my phone for something, and I'll see that I got Facebook notifications. So I'll look and clear them and close Facebook, and it'll have two more. It's like really Facebook? Come on, dude. Well, peeps, had to head off to get on my day. Have a good one. Jump. Have a wonderful day, man. I hope your uh, work day is uh, swift and uneventful. And if you work too hard, I hope you make lots and lots of money. A prediction for you. I haven't found a 221 hyperdrive on stream in weeks. I bet I get one right now. Heck yeah, dude. Good luck. I have uh, yet to uh, actually... I'll, that's something I want to do eventually. Oh my, damage. Something I want to do eventually, but uh, definitely uh, definitely hadn't had the like the motivation to get started on it. Like, I don't even think uh, I think I think I hunted around a little bit for um. And got got a couple over two hundred, but nothing perfect. I have a tree stump I had to get rid of. I'm too old and fat for this kind of thing. Yes, sir. Man, that would be something. Uh, I'm getting to the point now where my I had I had some older fellers told me years ago when I was much younger and much much more. Uh, much more stubborn. I had uh, one of my elder elder uh, relatives tell me, "You can't beat a man of this trait." So, like, you might be able to you might be able to repair your car yourself, but it'll end up costing you more more in time, or you end up uh, tearing up more than you fix. Hey, Phil Gore, how's it going? And for for years and years, I've always had the idea that you know. It, I could do. I could do about anything. If I got to repair something, I could repair it. If I got to do this this work that's not in my in my wheelhouse, I can learn how to do it or figure it out or do a well enough job to get me through. And the older I've gotten, the more that advice has resonated in my head. <laughs> and now, dude, I will not even change my own oil anymore. I'm like, yeah, let's just swing it by the lube place and the. <laughs> and get it done. I got everything I need out out in the out in the building to to do it. No problem. Done it several several times for my vehicles. But I'm just uh I've gotten to the the point of laziness to where I just yeah I just I'll just pay somebody pay somebody twice as much to do it for me and just sit there and watch YouTube videos while they do it. <laughs> But yeah, getting up, taking up a stump is a is a tough job, son. Ooh, got the gag nip. <laughs> How you doing, Phil Gore? Happy Tuesday to you, man. No, Junt, Junt saying he's going out there to do like manly stump work, you know. But what it is is, is 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 is, is better half's coming home soon. He's he's uh he's going going to make sure all the dishes are done and the house is immaculate before she gets home. That's what it is. He can't fool us. We know we know the truth. All right, last one, and that'll be ten. 
that'll put me up to uh should be 23 or so of the bulkheads or 23 uh tech slots so i can get started uh setting up the hyperdrive and stuff jack of all trades master of none yes i'm okay thanks for asking sword hope all's well you and yours doing great man doing great had a had a easy day early day at work got home and said you know what might be a great day to do some live stream let's go and there we are Taking up a few now, no way in hell. Oh, dude, trust me, I know. We've. Back when I was younger, we used to do a lot of the yard work and stuff, and did a lot of did a lot of stunt pulling. And no, I, I I would gladly pay somebody to come out there with a stump grinder and just grind that thing down in the in the in the nothing. All right, add additional storage. Let's go. Right, put me up. Ooh, nice. You know where the hyperdrive's going. Shoot, yeah, four uh four supercharged slots so far. Sweet. Right there, give me five thirty one. Let's see what that does. Six thirteen, cool, cool. Very nice. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven more to get it to where I need it to be. Yes, set up it at 30. So, 30, you can get by with 30 tech slots easy. That'll get, that'll get you three of all the, uh, the frigate mission stuff. And then be able to get your hyperdrive, your, uh, fully integrate your hyperdrive and have your, uh, uh, matter beam in your, uh, in your scanner. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's get into the settlement. I said salt pepper has a bit more salt these days, sword. Dude, I'm telling you, man. It's the kids, man. It's the kids. Like, it's not, it's not bad on top. Like, I got, I got a few right there, right there in the hairline. But it, it's the, it's just a beard, man. Yeah, it's terrible. All right, where is... Oh, here we go. Let's go finish this one out. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 wife, the wife was the death of my mustache, and the kids, the kids were the death of my beard. All right, how long has that got? Another hour? Why did you put put down a floor on your, in your settlement? I just the one to kill the grass and make it look a little better it's like when you get out of the settlement like the grass is grass is pretty high and a lot of dirt looks kind of rough i want it to look more like a little city plus i'd seen a few people few people had done it with their with their settlements and i'm like eh, you know one and then and then also it it's very uh time consuming so like when you got like an hour like if i wasn't streaming i would be playing with the floor <laughs> around all the buildings while the timer ticked down on that building 
I won't say whose fault for mine. Evidence. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Definitely don't 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 want to overhear in that conversation. All right, cool. So that is done and done. All right, so we've done. I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to snatch up some more of those because uh, they're they're five million, ten million, twenty million, and they go to thirty. And when you start cranking out those uh those receivers when they're thirty million a pop, it'll chew up it'll chew up your uh, units pretty quick. So I got about a half an hour, forty minutes, something like that, before uh before I'm gonna wrap up tonight. So I think what we'll do is uh go hit a few uh hmm. Well, let's see what kind of missions do I got. Or hit my log. There it is. Let's see. Let's see. Under a rebel star is pretty quick. Uh, let's see. They who return take a little while. Takes a little while longer. I think I got. Let's see. Did I get dreams of the deep done on this one? I think I did. Cool. All right. Let's see. Industrial survey. Advanced power research. Hmm. Research. Research for a power hot spot. Hmm. Already got that. Hmm. I wonder why it's still up because I found a hot spot on my. Oh, shoot. There's a hot spot right there. Let's go. Right here inside my base. Nice. Let's see if I had to clear that mission out. All right. Now. Oh, hot spot marker will be pinned using. And did that clear it. Didn't look like it. Okay. Hmm. So weird game. Look better hot spot than I got in my uh okay. Let's do an EM generator. Uh, okay. Let's see, let's throw a battery to it and connect it so it'll draw. Okay, why are you not drawing? that clear no so weird hmm yeah that's what I'm saying man <laughs> it is so weird man <laughs> it's it like I said it's just a bug mission in the game I guess all right so let's see let's get rid of that and that the only thing well shoot the only thing I could think of is well I doubt I'll ever find the because I think I pulled up my first base and that may be why it's bugged out on me but yeah 
No worries. All right, let's do under a rebel star. I think this one. I think this one's pretty quick. I think you can do it in like 15, 20 minutes, if that. Location day acquired for abandoned vessel. Reach mark coordinates. Let's see. Oh shoot! Right there. Very nice. Think you have to find one of each, possibly. Which I've already done a uh, gas and a uh, power, so I had to do a mineral. I think it's it. Gas, power, and mineral. Yeah. Which, to be fair, I'm gonna be doing. I'll be uh, looking for some. Uh, I'm definitely gonna be setting up for gases and uh. Oh, okay. Here we go. This uh. This is one of them uh target sweep locations. See if I can just find it. Maybe with the storm clearing, I'll be able to find it. Um. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be setting up uh some. Some more um little bases. To get the uh, gases and stuff to make stasis devices with, so we'll see if it clears out by then. Oh my! How far away is this thing going to be? There, nope. Thought that might have been it right there, but. Cap H. Uh, I mean, I can always just land it in like a. I don't have launch fuel or resources to launch again. I've got a the launch or the launch thing on. Or, there it is. I've got the launch on a. This thing's so tuned up. It didn't really cost anything to launch. There we go. Come on, be an S class. Really? I can't scan for it? B class. That is junk. Not even worth a scrap. You're 500 you away. Okay, cool, cool. I didn't even see that, bud. Alright, let's see. Download logs. I attempt to salvage what I can from the log of the crash ship. Sifting through the diagnostic data, they appear to have been the victim of a sudden overwhelming assault. Among the endless data, the countless warnings and errors triggered by the flames and cons and that consumed the ship, there is a fragment of a recording, a window into the starship's final moments. The only word I had out of that was down. Suddenly the voice changes. The muffled shouts of the pilot fade away, cut through by the words that ring out in a clear and powerful tone. Resist the red. We shall cut out its crimson eye. The end of the message is accompanied by a clear navigational signal, a rendezvous point. But for who? Let's take it. Death to the Scarlet Tyrant. <laughs> what? I was set up, guys. I was set up. Come on, where you at? Where you at? Bring it. I think I named this one Molnir on there. Yeah, <laughs> I named this multi tool Molnir. <laughs> With the power of Thor. Uh, can you remember by heart what a traveler grave says? No. To be fair, they've changed up quite a bit over the years. 
All right, let's roll. Return to the agent. Oh, that's a sentinel. Yeah, <laughs> nice. All right, let's set that back to, uh, Space. We'll find out. I've just heard you read it so many times, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've read a few Traveler Graves over the years. Hostile ships. See, that's total BS. The dude turned completely 180 on me. Alright, what'd they break? My god, broke two of my engines. What a turd. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Whew, 95. <laughs> oh, man. All right. You wish to follow us to seize your freedom to reject the grand lives of the Atlas. We shall see if you are worthy of the voice of freedom. I hear only static in reply, a faint laugh echoing through the noise. Oh, there we go. That's the ground. Not be that one. Was it? Nope. All right. 
glorious survivor welcome the path to liberty is shall be our own masters rid of the crimson illusion a sky for the strong this broadcast finished the terminal begins printing a secure pass an invitation it seems to it seems to meet this voice of freedom cool. ticket to freedom guys let's see let's uh, call the ship Use my ticket to freedom. Accept the invitation. Azrath, what's up, buddy? How's it going, dude? Good to see you. And Ashinda Fire Mist, how's it going? Get nip cookies and nip nip hot chocolate for the likes and shares. Thank you, sweetie. All right, go to the galaxy map. Have a voice of reason, but all the other voices are louder. <laughs> all right, do we go to another system? I believe so. There we go. Cool. Heck yeah! How you doing? Just a short minute. <laughs> How you doing, Ash? Good to see you, dear. And Azraf, man, welcome to it, buddy. Guys, if you haven't already, please go check out Azrath Gaming in a Shin to Fire Mist. I think she is uh, on Twitch, and let me uh, correct something. Let's see. There we go. There we go. Cool, cool. Doing well, and you doing great, man. Doing great. I finally, after 11 months of not streaming, decided to jump back into the jump back into the frying pan this weekend. Definitely, definitely having a blast. cooking and writing a script nice dude nice nice i'm a dual stream i'm dual streaming again nice heck yeah glad to see you. man i'm telling you i missed you guys for a long time we got c-class yeah i've been missing it for a while and the missus has been trying to Coax me into doing it again and getting back into it, and I just like I said, it's one of them things. Once you once you once you take a break from it, it's like you can find like every time I'd say, "Hey, I'm not stream today," like 80, 80 excuses would come up. There we go. Eleven months. Glad to have you. Thank you, bud. Uh, home now. Just made some French dip sliders for the family. Ooh, nice, Tragus. That sounds good, dude. I realized today I hadn't uploaded anything in two years. <laughs> nice, <Not> Russ Beard. <laughs> nice, nice, buddy. You are one of us now, new face. You are bonded to us. You are free. The voice is not one voice, but many. It's our voice. It's your voice. You sing with our choir now. Shroud of Freedom. I wonder if the... Hmm. Hello, C-Class. Okay, now we get to go toward a station. Gotta go up here. Cool, cool. Glad I canceled that Adobe subscription. <laughs> I know, dude. Man, I'll tell you, man. Adobe. Whew. I think I've done... I think I've edited... Maybe six. I don't even think that, man. I think five, four or five videos in... What's it going on now? About six years. And I've had Adobe Premiere. I've had Adobe Premiere for like four or five of those years. No, 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 no. Three. Three years. 
Yeah. <laughs> Uh, my last up upload was four months ago. Oh my! Good gracious! Yeah, I'm. I'm. I basically I started out. Um, I started out streaming from the PlayStation Four in my living room. Like, to be fair, man, for the longest time I never had. I didn't have a camera on my PlayStation, and dude, I'd just be laying on the couch with my headset, chatting and playing, and. Man, I finally, I finally had to get a cam. I finally got talked into getting a camera so everybody could see, like, see why I never had a camera before. But, um, but yeah. <laughs> then I had to start wearing pants. Yeah, that was that was rough. That was that took an adjustment. Like I know you only see like the chest up, but yeah, just in case something happens and I have to stand up real quick, I wear pants during the stream now. Those payments must be brutal for Premiere. Uh, not really, dude. Um, Adobe Premiere, if you go, like, when you go to uh, sign up for it, if you have a, like, if one of your, like, if you, especially if you got kids, or if you're a student yourself, if you, if you are a student or have a student in the household, uh, you get a, uh, Adobe has a really, really good uh, student discount. I get, um, if I'm not mistaken, I get, Photoshop, uh, Adobe Premiere, After Effects, and I think that's it. Those three, and it costs me like twenty nine bucks a month. Sign up during the holidays, yeah. But now, if you got if you got a student or you have a relative that is a student and isn't going to use it, yeah, you can get a really good discount. Because I know I was paying, I was paying nineteen bucks a month just for uh, Photoshop, and then when I uh, got the student discount because of my kids. Um, I was able to bundle, get three out of it the, because they got several, several softwares for, on, in the Adobe suite that you can get. And you get to pick like, I think you get to pick like a, a few of them for like 29 bucks. It's not bad. But like I said, man, I was, I was, I've been paying for that stuff for years. Now, Photoshop, I use, I use Photoshop almost every stream just for the thumbnail. Heck yeah. All right. Live support systems, commercial monitoring, stasis defense, prime, freedom, atlas, surveillance, surveillance, uplink, request the voice of freedom. Glorious survivor, the promised star will be yours. Glass, 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 glass. Yes. Explore the outlaw station. Okay. Let's see, I can do with another exosuit slot. Or do I have all mine? I think I have all of them. Sweet. Max out them tech slots, boys. Hello, good sir. Do you have anything to sell? Let's grab some of these. I can always use those. Now, this is a trick KJ showed me. I don't know if... I know most of you guys are aware of this, but dude, it's an... Exchanging units for nanites is the way to go, guys. Like, you buy those tech packs from him, and then you walk right over here to this guy and sell them all to him. Which I bought a... I got a bunch. I got a bunch of tech from uh, those derelict freighters. But yeah, it, it is a nanite. What? Pants? Yeah, I know, dude. I know. Hello, sir. Handy missions. Nice. There we go. Let's see. What do I got here? Pirate, 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 pirate. Yeah, pass. Ooh, two storage augmentations. Sweet. Very nice. Let's see, that will put me up to 95. Let's go. I use Blender because I'm already doing Blender stuff and I'm cheap. There you go, Josh. Cool, cool, man. Uh, there's a reason I use VTuber avatar. I have a face for... Oh, I don't believe that for a minute. I know better. All right, apply storage augmentations. Let's go. Very nice. Yeah, the nice thing about black market systems, guys, is like... Especially if you like really need nanites to upgrade a starship or a multi-tool or something like that. You can go, like, when you first get into the system, hit your economy scanner and go to a trade outpost. You can buy 
anywhere from four to 12 or like sometimes 16 of the two different tech modules <clears throat> and then come to the space station and do the same with that vendor and then turn around and sell all of them. But in the process of doing that, especially if you got a few units to spare, keep an eye out for the ships that land. Um, now, did I complete the Voice of Freedom? I don't think I did. I think I got to do something else. Under a Rebel Star. Yeah, okay. So, let's see. Wow, the purchase of... Mm. Acquire a forged passport to restore reputation in regulated systems. Okay. Let's see here. Where do you get the forged passport from? Or is that something you gotta craft? Nope. Let's see, do I they give me as a reward? Okay, I am lost. Leave the outlaw system, return to your ship, and begin. Okay, leave the outlaws. <clears throat> there we go. The voice of freedom will not permit the Atlas silence. New face carries our voice. You must hide your trail. Take this document. Disrupt the traffic records at Station Core. Your voice will be free in the darkness. Nice. <coughs> All right, got my forged passport. Let's go. Time to travel. Now, is there a particular system I need to go to? Yeah, it has been a minute since I've had to do these guys, so bear with me. Doesn't look like I had to go any particular place. Let me double check the mission real quick. Cool. All right. Bounties. All right. Let's see what do we got. It's good for a high economy. Save some. Make it worth the trip. Ba -ba -ba. Man, all these economies and nothing to go to. I haven't done this quest line in a minute, either. dude. I'm telling you. Like, which I don't know though. I I did do. I did have to catch up my normal modes, but yeah. I, when when the uh, Omega Expedition dropped, I decided to uh, I decided to go through and uh, clean up all my saves and stuff. So I got rid of a bunch of my like uh, new games, like new game from stream saves that like didn't have like 20 or 25 hours or so <clears throat> and just kept the ones i kept everything that had like close to 100 hours because i had put a lot of time into some of them so like i had one that was like 97 hours and then the rest of them were like two and three hundred hours on the normal modes and my primary normal save all right okay this is just a uh, Nice. Let's go. If I can hit him. There we go. Done and done. Yeah, my primary normal mode saves were uh I hadn't I hadn't touched my main save in crap. It was it was uh before Frontiers. Oh come on. One of the good guys flew in front of me. <laughs> Blow up the freighter. Come on. Hold still. Take your medicine. Targeting used to be much easier back in the day. <clears throat> oh, he broke one of my infra knives, so you gonna pay for that, buddy.
Hit the brakes, goose. He'll fly right by. <coughs> Is that it? I believe that was it. Now, is this, is this freighter going to be mad at me because I've shot it about a dozen times? Come on, S-Class. Jump's not here to pick on me. Don't feel so bad then, yeah. Yeah, my main my main save, like my first, the original PC save, was, was rough shape. Oh, come on, C-Class, really? I took damage for a C-Class. Total BS. And I don't have no wiring loom here. Let's go. Oh, no. Settlement. Crap. They're under attack. All right. All right, let's go. You got shunted. I know, dude. Man, <clears throat> before I before I come back streaming Sunday, man, I was like S classes was falling out of trees. It was like I might start streaming this. Nobody's gonna believe it. Like I would land in a I would land in an outlaw station and buy two of them before I could scrap one. All right, do I need to go to the station core and do this real quick? Let me switch the mission real fast. Okay, let's go up here and do this real quick. All right, done. I think I'm done here. Trace and metal is gonna be next. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go kill some sentinels, boys. That was a hard lag spike. It was a little scary right there. Let's go save. <laughs> Alright, let's go greet my visitor. What's up, dude? Uh, demand answer. Oh, this is a. Uh, yeah. Alright, demand answers. Let's go. Signal your agreement. Let's go. It's the uh, taste of metal. <laughs> Blah players who haven't completed all the questions. Yeah. Man, I up until like that that first that original normal mode save had a ton. Okay, let's see, what do we got? C class? Nope. Alright, did my building complete? That's a better question. Let's see which side was there it is. How much time's left on this thing? 57%. Let's go. Um, but yeah, up until um, 
I started doing, because like a lot of times, every time a new update would drop, I would start a new save because, uh, when was it? It was, um, Beyond. When Beyond dropped originally, it changed up some of the, um, early game, uh, uh, dialect or messages. And a lot of the, a lot of the, like, Atlas or um, Artemis Quest had some new new uh, uh, lore and text. Then the um, what was it? The um, boundary failures had gotten some new text. That it actually got like a six, I think like six or eight more lines of a of a dialect uh, when Beyond dropped. So every time like a major like. Uh, mechanic changing patch dropped in No Man's Sky and I always just start a new save go back to all of that stuff again um, just to just see if it was any new lore or whatnot. <clears throat> see I need to go to the uh, now that I'm here with my uh, oh it's a starship now that I'm here with the ship I could am I too far away come on dude I'm not that far away from my ship But yeah, it used to give a little bit. It, it used it changed up the lore a little bit, so I always start a new save just to see if there was any new lore added to the game, and uh, that's what got me away from playing my main saves as much. Cool. All right, let's go to the uh, anomaly and progress that a uh, taste of metal. Because if I don't, every time I come to the uh, settlement, there'll be a battle. I have to do. If you're looking for like a, a sentinel glass, that's a good way to get some of it. Or if you got a, if you got sentinel kills, act, you know, do that. Don't do the don't do the taste of metal mission, and just leave it active. And every time you get in your settlement, it's like you can portal out and come back, and it'll be there again. <laughs> that floor is starting to grow on me, dude. I'm telling you, man. What, like I just like I just started the settlement last night um off stream so once i progress that settlement some and and it starts getting a little bit more dense that's gonna look sweet that's the reason i started doing them or started putting the floors down they have eyes everywhere traveler eyes everywhere but i'm not without my own methods my network sees much of its own but first Tell me in your own words exactly what happened at your settlement. Cool. Yep, I've completed all quests. Just not all. Just not on all saves. Oh yeah. Hmm. They have never shown mercy to those who try to build on planets. It is a constant. But there. But this is new, unexpected. We must learn more. Revealed the recovered drone shell. I do them on my saves. Just to get them off my mission list. Yeah, I me mean, to be honest with you, the OCD really kicks in for those missions. Tetsis holds a drone in their hands, gently turning it over and over with a softness I had not anticipated. Forgive me, Traveler. They have chased me for so long, but I have never seen one so close. Perhaps this one is our key. I could restore it. Map remap its mind. Our own link to the infernal hive. Yes, yes. It would only take a few new components. I shall begin at once. See what you can source from the others. All right. All right. Let's look around the anomaly and see where I got to go. <clears throat> cool. Right there we go. I mean to, I do, I never just get around to it. <laughs> get busy, Ash. Do we find you well, Portal Adept? Explain Tessa's plan. These drones are not the malicious force some imagine them to be, Portal Adept. I believe the Sentinels to be vital, life-preserving function of the cosmos. I am heartened that Tethys begins to see sense. <laughs> I will gift you these violet Okay, I'll not pronounce that word. Uh, it holds a whisper of the ether that follows within the portals. Tethys will understand how to make use of it. Nice. Very nice. 
Let's go Tethys. Okay. Why can't... Oh, I need to go... Oh, okay, got you, got you. I need to go on down and get the other one. Hello. <clears throat> I shake my head and clear my vision. Focus, Adrian may have things Tethys needs to restore the drone. Why would you? Why would I have anything like that? They begin to cough. It's, they seem ill. Apologies, I've not been myself lately. I do not think I can help you. What? Total BS. She, she just didn't want to help. I've heard, I've heard that line before. I say, honey, honey, what's for dinner? And she goes, I don't believe I can help you. It's like, yep. Jim and I nods thoughtfully, seemingly lost in some strange calculation. Tethys is doing what to a sentinel drone? My friend, this is madness. The robots are not our friend. <laughs> My eyes long for beauty, traveler, but these sentinels are unthinking parasites. Ter are unthinking parasites tearing down anything that may may elevate us. But but you are. I suppose building something new, taking that cursed shell and constructing something better. I will try to help you, but please keep safe. Take my nanite filament, that your drone may remember me when it awakes. Oh, it'll remember you. To be fair, it won't let you activate it in the in the, in the uh, anomaly. Hesper smiles, happy to see me. Oh, Kindred, be careful, even with the best of intentions. We can make such mistakes. The blood of the Sentinels, it brings only lies. Does Polo know what you're doing? It will be both considerate and wise to let them know. Well, I guess I know where I'm going next. That was 100% that was go ask your mama right there. Y'all know, know what I'm talking about. Hesper just said, go ask your mama. <laughs> you are building something, friend. Yes, I recognize it in you. You are brave, traveler friend. You always have been brave. You may tame your little robot. You may not. But it will always be made of glass. It cannot exist in our home. Gee, get that thing out of my house. I've heard that one before. It sounds just like your mom. Right? Am I wrong? Come on, guys. Mama is not <laughs> <laughs> Take these beads. Yes, it will help you bind. It will help bind them to you. You will be a good robot master. I will. Let's hope so. Or, or. On second thought, I could be an evil robot master and create a whole swarm of my own sentinels and try to become the glad. My mom, mama is not a, not a yeah. <laughs> All right, I've done your legwork, man. Tethys is, Tethys is deep in thought. They fix, fix me with an enduring, inquiring stare. I'll learn to read here in a minute. English is my first language, but I speak it like it's my second. Handover components. Let's go. This handful of junk is what they gave you? No help at all. Really? Ungrateful. I ripped the spikes off your head. Oh, well, I can make it work. Tethys takes the damaged sentinel shell and my components with them. The strange metallic being is reconstructed. Just let me... Nearly... Aha! It's alive! Or I'm fairly confident it would be, if it weren't for Polo's suppression fields. Its system readout just keeps repeating the word glass. You'll have to take it away from here for a field test. Cool. Let's go. Best place to do it, the settlement. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. No. There it is. Cool. Uh. 
Let's see, where did I put my new drone at? There it is. Activate. Where'd it go? Make it fly. Did I even activate it? I did. Oh, there he is. Almost talked to a real drone. Gotta hop off. Have a great stream, Sword. And I'll see you. See you later. Azrath, have a great night, buddy. We'll catch you later, man. <laughs> Fix of the glass, 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 glass. Input required. Select restart routine. Let's see. Uh, let's def Fragment file system. File system access denied. Denied. Didn't say the magic word. Local update signal acquired. Do, do, do. Coordinates locked. Awaiting network proximity. Download coordinates. Cool. Man, I really hate when he makes that spaz out noise. I think he's going to just turn on me immediately and start shooting me. It's in the face. Got all my guys running around scared of him. All right, let's go. Next location. Oh yeah, seven seconds. That's not bad. Oh, come on. Let's see. Let's try. Seriously. 850 you away. Okay, cool, cool. Air three. I'm getting close. Oh, there we go. Nice. Dude, that's an awesome trick. Seriously. Thank you, sir. Let's go have some fun. Hello. In the face. Where are these drones at? Come on, Sentinel scum. Yeah, dude. I never knew that, man. That worked out pretty good. Was that it? Oh, come on, man. All right. Really cool multi-tool or C-Class trash. Let's see. My exosuit begins integrating directly with the terminal. It's AI flooding with data. I see flashes of schematics, glass structures, language files. Uh, permit the integration to continue. What's up, funny imps? How's it going, dude? Welcome to it, dude. Oh, it's new? Cool, cool, man. My exosuit compiles its valuable work, though I'm unsure what exactly it was attempting to do. Words flash before the hive's terminal, suddenly illegible. Ah, oh, cool, it translates. Archive status, open access, download hard frame, blueprints, confirm, nice. The terminal transferred data to my exosuit, a set of Sentinel hard frame schematics. I feel great sense. I feel a great sense of relief. Yes, cool. And I need hydraulic wiring for that. Suddenly, I am, I hear an alarm begin to sound. New words swim forth upon the screen. Local anomaly detected. Category: Drone imposter. Attempt network reconstruction. Uh oh. Or moot purge. Good man. How's the day been? Doing great, man. Um, I was talking about it a little Sunday, uh, during the stream, but, um, one of the, uh, uh, route, route drivers is, uh, is pursuing, uh, a pastorship or becoming a pastor and he's going to be leaving the company, uh, here in, oh, uh, five or six weeks. And when that route become available or when they uh, let us know, I put a bid in for it and got it and basically from now or for the last several weeks until um i take that new route i have a um young fella i've been training to take over for my route and it's made the work days much much easier because four hands move a lot faster than two so my days have been actually been fairly good the last several weeks and it's just getting even better every week 
All right, let's see. You wait in response. The terminal attempts to broadcast data to the sentry, but something is wrong. I hear the voice of my exosuit, but none of the words make sense. The terminal streams noisily. The screen flashes to black. Ooh. All right, now let's see what kind of crap multi-tools here. C-class trash. That's that's pretty C-class trash. S still trash nonetheless. All right, let's see. Shut down Sentinel forces, cause uh, might as well. Oh, nice! I heard something blow up. All right, log off. All right, so I need a. Where is? Where do I craft that? Do I gotta do? There he is. Hello, sir. I think I crafted in this one. All right, uh, there it is. Cool. I need one hydraulic wiring. It's uh, one hydraulic wiring coming up. Maybe if I got the stuff for it. Do I have the blueprint for it? Oh, there it is. Uh, what am I missing? Carbon nanotube. All right, let's craft the one insignificant piece for the minor insignificant piece to craft the cool new tech. That's right. Now he's got gun hands. Ha ha ha. Alright, moving on along. Uh, it's just... Plant service, deploy the drone. Okay, deploy the drone. There he is. I guess I need to... Oh my god, what a hard lag spot. Yeah, that might crash me right there. Let's give it a second. See if it drops me down. Yep, that crashed. Shot of a gun. Alright, let's uh, force close some No Man's Sky. Close window. Close program. There we go. Now yeah, let's reboot. At least you have a restored just getting out of your ship, I know, right? <laughs> well, fortunately, uh, it did a restore point right as it crashed. But it might have been what crashed it, so it may not have saved. <laughs> We're going to find out. Hopefully, hopefully it don't crash every time I hop out my ship. So how you been how you been liking this new orbital update, funny? I know you've been playing a lot of uh was it Path of Exile. Don't know if you remember, but I said I was playing my own sub game. Well I have done it. Left starter planet in a ship I built is happy. Nice dude! Heck yeah, man. Oh yeah. Definitely, definitely. I'm telling you what, man, that would definitely be tough. Uh Definitely be tough on a starter planet. Ah, oh, put the sentinels back. Web memory flash complete. Program deploy the sentry. Localization established. Initializing traveler ideal. Greetings. Hello, hi. The sentinel is delighted. It has never said hello before. Yeah, they usually shoot at you. You are a mechanical suit. Living clothes with a voice, yes. Must upgrade. Hard frame suit. Sent on. Minotaur, yes. Now you can wear them. Sweet. Starter system, yeah. Cool, cool. I really like what they've done. I haven't done any new missions or anything, but all the additions have been great. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's getting in the... Getting a... Being able to make your own ship before you leave the starter system will be tough. All right, let's uh, let's crash out these drone or uh, sentinels again. 
Deuces. That's good. Collect my barrels. Pretty good. What? Total BS. See, it was supposed to shut down. Did it not supposed to shut down Sentinel Forces? Oh, that pissed something off. Holy cow. <laughs> that was loud. Oh my. Okay, time to reload. <laughs> Man, I ain't listening to that every time one spawns in. <laughs> reload repository. Oh, it's still a lot of fun. I can imagine, man. Holy smokes. That was loud, boys. Yeah, ouch. <laughs> All right. Bad, bad negative. Hive has disrupted your sediment. The settlers are pregnant this season. Okay. Alright, let's head to the, uh, let's get to the, uh, settlement. Go wreck some samples. Oh, was that it right there? Very nice. I forgot I was right around the corner. Oh, that was nice class. <laughs> you sound playing more mirrors than I have played so recently. I know, right, dude? I think that's what bugged it because there was sentinels attacking my uh, base. Oh, urgent meeting requested. Let's go. Alright, grab a save in case I pick the wrong one. What do we say? Demand obedience. Ha ha ha! You will obey. Uh, the, citizen have, the citizens have grown curious. They note the sudden and traumatic appearance of Sentinel hard frames, and that the overseer appears to be accompanied by a rogue drone. Uh, then it'll be okay. What could happen? What's the worst that could happen? All right, the citizens are pleased by your words. They have lived in fear of the Sentinels their entire lives and now hope for peace. They wish to assist you in your search for answers and have prepared an expedition. Uh, you guys go to the abandoned building because I like Monoliths better. All right. And I was just going to do uh, Under a Rebel Star and ended up, uh, hello, come here, buddy. Here, little drone. Vocalization bad. Help me, you. Go there. There, place. Okay, let's go. Right. Throttle jockey. What's up, dude? Where is my marker at? Send another system. Okay, let's go. How you doing, buddy? Happy Tuesday to you. Glad you're back in Saddle Bay, dude. I'm telling you, man. I I ain't gonna lie, man. It it was nice. It was nice for some aspects, but I really did miss it, man. <laughs> it's good to be back. I just gotta, I'm trying to, uh, uh, I'm trying to work out what will be good days to stream where I'm not like really, where I'm not back in the old grind where I'm trying to do it every day. I'm thinking, I'm gonna see what my, I'm gonna see what my week looks like, uh, well, I'm gonna try to stream again Thursday and then, uh, Saturday and Sunday, but. I want to get in the habit of uh, 
get in the habit of not uh, getting too silly with it. Well, it sent me to the abandoned building. Or it ain't an abandoned building. That's a, uh, what do you call it? A, uh, a name. Now, I'm trying to get to where I'm, I'm trying to take a day in between. So I'm not, so I avoid getting burnt out. But then something silly happened, like one of the games will update and I'll start going wild on it. <laughs> like, the Star Citizen update is going to be, is going to be really fat whenever it comes out. There's a lot of new content coming. A lot of new uh, flight mechanics, a lot of new content coming with Star Citizen when this uh, 323 drops. Then from what I heard, um, then from what I heard that the uh, Ashlands is going to go into uh, like, um, uh, like beta testing here soon. So that'll be rolling out with uh, Valheim. So yeah, I, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a busy busy summer. <clears throat> Production piles, awaiting restart authorization. Let's go. Factory terminal looks just like any other. Another anomalous facility. Another meaningless screen of data. But the numbers that scroll past call out to me. I find my hand upon the panel. I need it. I need it. A needle extends from my, the glove of my suit. I do not know I had a needle in my suit. I do not. Remo I do not remove. I do not move my arm. Holy crap! Baham Beta is currently active. Nice. <clears throat> I finally have Baham. Nice, Ashenda. I surrender to my exosuit. suit. I am. I am a statue, a powerless witness to whatever it is attempting. Wave after wave of numbers fill the terminal screen, patterns swirling as my exit communes with the data. At last, it halts upon a prompt. I understand. Glass archive breach. Boundary status open. Download hard frame blueprint. Let's go. The factory is a portal and an anonymous node. No more. Through this window, my exosuit retrieves another set of Sentinel hard frame schematics from whatever world of data lies beneath. There was no need to feel afraid. Cool, cool, hard frame legs, and I got all that, sweet. Boom, transmit upgrade, cool. Nice, all right, now, do I still have, nope, it's not close enough to do it. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm in a different system, Never mind. okay. Let's go talk to him. Ooh, do they got bass out here? Sweet. <coughs> That was creepy. Feeling better, feeling fresh. Greetings, Telemon. Ask who Telemon is. Perhaps I have made an error. Yes, error. Apologies, Traveler. Please accept my fault. To establish better bond, install Hardframe Blueprint to my own Minotaur so you can puke more. Cool. All right, is there a basalt here? All right. All right. Didn't look likely. Nope. Nope, nope. Alright, let's roll. Where'd I park my ship, dude? Dude, where's my starship? Cool, cool, man. I don't understand a word of that. 
I'll accept your message and go away confused. Nice. That's a cool looking station. They sell some junk. Holy smokes. Let's see, can I transfer to the freighter from here? Yes. Two fifty three. Bust out the last two and see what I got with these. Mm. Okay, fuel efficiency. Thirty three eighteen, so fuel efficiency eighteen. Sprint distance, fuel efficiency. Oh god, that one's bad. Hey, both of these are better. Yes. Alright, let's crash those. Nice. Fair enough. My god, it's a blue and purple station. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Kill four sentinels, I can take that one. Kill one predator, I can take that one. Ba -ba -ba. Cool. Alright, let's see what landed. A class. What you got for free? Found your map, shaveling, heart, cool, and let's donate. Ooh, not the hard frame engine. Nice. That cranked up some uh, reputation. Let's get back to the base and finish the hard frame or settlement. Settlement. Let's go to the settlement. <clears throat> Need to go grab a screenshot of uh, my settlement with that base computer to change it up some. Gotta run. All right, midnight. Midnight. Have a great night, buddy. Yeah, I meant to wrap this thing up like thirty minutes ago. So yeah. <laughs> Man, have a great night, buddy. I should be back on. Hopefully, if uh, work allows, I'll be back on Thursday. I should I hope to see you then, bud. Save. Check the settlement. Cool. All right. Call in my exo suit. Nice. All right. Craft. Let's do hard frame legs. Big blue mini. Fighters here. Going to catch you Thursday if. Fighters here, fighters here, go catch you Thursday if you're here, cool, cool. <clears throat> yeah, Ash, uh, uh, hopefully when Valheim uh, kicks up, um, we normally um, get a server set up for it, so I think we'll have uh, maybe six people already. I think I have room for like 10. 
<clears throat> okay, what just there? Right, okay, where's my door? Come here. There we go. All right, All right debrief expedition. Cool. Nice. Hard frame left arm. Uh, let's see. Quarantine explorers are creeping, spreading glass. <clears throat> Shoot. Right. Let's save. Let's see what I get. Alright, let's see. Let's go quarantine explorers and see what that gives me. Population growth, please. Okay, what is... Oh, that's a... Uh... Okay, it kills a sentinel alert level. Okay, cool, cool. I'll take it. Cool. Anything new coming in? Nope. Alright, so let's get the uh, left arm done. What do we need? Hydraulic wiring. So I'm going to need a uh, air tube. Hydraulic wiring. Cool. Very nice. All right, boys, I'm going to save it here and call it a night because uh, I need to get my butt on in the bed. For, well, I'm going to jump in Discord and uh, talk to the boys a minute, and then uh, I'm going to get my butt on in the bed. So <laughs> let's go to desktop. Uh, here we go. All right, guys. Man. Thank you all for coming out and hanging out with me tonight during the stream. I really, really do appreciate your time. I appreciate you. You had choices on what you wanted to do tonight, and you chose to come hang out with Old Sword, and I want you to know I really appreciate y'all doing that. You all have a wonderful, wonderful night. Hopefully your week goes by smoothly, uneventful, and uh, you have much joy in, in the rest of your week. And I will see you all on the next stream. Hopefully, cross fingers, nothing comes up, and I'm home in time and rested and, like, not too overworked and can be able to do it on Thursday night. Hopefully so. I'll see you guys on Thursday night. If not, I'll be back on Saturday night, definitely at uh, looking about 6 p.m. and then after Zane on Sunday. You all have a great day, and I will see you on the next stream. Peace, guys.